Florespark can be an unpredictable city. Affluency doesn't mitigate its problems. In some ways, it amplifies them. This is why we're deployed. But we've seen better days. Just now debriefing. This mission is not complete. I only know of her. <laughs> Our lack of data collection is a problem. Valdez, I'm aware of your investigative talents. Braxwell spoke highly of you, and that's why you're on this team. Local law enforcement handles itself very well. But there are those with abilities. Some believe themselves to be good. Others don't even attempt to act as if they are. Either way, we're involved. Not everyone will agree with our status. But that can be said for anything. May I remind you both. We are Alpha Core. And failure is not what we do. What is up? What is up, everybody? Welcome in. Welcome in. Sorry, we are a little late for episode number 10. We are getting up there in episodes. Episode number 10 of Rip and the Silverback. You know, this is one of my favorite parts of the week. Love this show. Love shooting shit with my man's as And of course, the co-host of the show. How you doing, my friend? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. Really Can't complain. Got a lot done. Was rushing in to uh, finish my workout before this, right? Right, like right before this, and you know I made it. But yeah, here we are, man. But all is good. All is good. And before we get started, there's a bunch of stuff that I want to be, I want to talk about real quick pertaining to Alpha Core. Just some quick, quick announcements for everybody. Again, I appreciate y'all and the love that you've shown. But right now. Is it's the last week, right? We got a few days still left in the campaign. It'll end like Saturday around midnight. So basically midnight going into that Sunday. So get in right now if you want to get in. So check this out. A couple of things that I want to let you guys in on. We have a last chance going on with our CGC copies. We have assessed our stock, okay? And we put the ones that we have available of extras after, you know, we've got our damages and everything. We've gone through all of uh, just everything, right? You guys can get those now. And not just with Alpha Core signed by Chuck Dixon signature series. You can also get the signed and graded version of ISOM as well. ISOM 2, that is. So all signature series. And these are not things that you're waiting on. These are already here in the warehouse so those will go out immediately so this is your last chance on some of these so go ahead and get in uh on that we appreciate you guys so much 1.2 and a half million and numbers going to keep going up as we continue uh with the uh with the campaign this is the last latter half so you know how we get up ticks 
on the latter half of the campaign mods if you can continue to please drop those links in the chat for everybody i don't have a pinned pinned one right now so my apologies but thank you guys so much for that continued support by the way we will be at megacon at megacon i'll have a, a, a like more formal announcement for you guys about that but catch us in orlando for megacon riververse will actually have a presence there and we're going to have our own uh, 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 panel as well as a booth so you can come get some exclusive items and all of that and that's what i really want to open the show with because speaking of expos um fan expo vancouver <laughs> um is hosting and this is i think the first fan expo international fan expo that type event that gina carano has done oh <laughs> and um she was of course asked to be there and she was going to be appearing and uh as to be expected we had some uh let's say dramatism i guess we can call it that by you can't even call these people fans can you um pigs <laughs> i like that pigs. Let's, let's call them that pigs by a bunch of um pigs i'm gonna actually pull up an article right now we've talked about this before but i haven't had a chance to shoot a shoot it with um as about it so i'm pulling this up right now okay Two women over at Global News, and this is the headline, okay? It's kind of a state-funded propaganda. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate that context, right? I appreciate that context. It is <laughs> a state-funded propaganda uh, publication, using that term loosely, okay? And... They say slap in the face, X Mandalorian stars invite to fan expo prompts backlash. Mm. So they needed two women to write about this. And this was what got 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 me. Um, it talked about some other stars and one guest. The guest, not these other stars, the guest that is raising some eyebrows, of course, is the ever so. I mean, they treat her like she's Thanos. Gina Carano, of all people. OK, however, her strong political views, as the article says, on issues such as <laughs> <laughs> such as the 2020 U.S. election uh, vaccines and the, the whole people whose lives revolve around <laughs> their political ideology. OK. The Holocaust have propped has prompt and and. It's so disingenuous, right? They set it up like she has some controversial views on like the Holocaust or something. And they know what it is they're doing. This is the kind of conniving dipshittery that you get from these types to make it seem. And of course, they don't even go into detail. Like what is the ever so controversial thing that Gina Carano has done? None of that is listed here. It's just that there's quote unquote strong political views, which just means not a leftist. Uh, and uh, holocaust like okay hell whoa well, why you see that you read that like wait a minute oh wow you can't be saying anything about that that's, event that's the whole point bingo that's the whole because th they are purposely making sure that context doesn't matter yes facts. because if they wanted to make it's like look let's take something really insignificant let's take the starfield rant okay people saw the rant and they were just like this guy is going nuts because he's in the menu screen and he's seen pronouns. Yeah. Just was that the context? context? No. No, not even. The rant even happened before, yeah. seven hours into the video game. Mm -hmm. And I played an additional uh, 18 hours. I played about 25, 26 hours in total. But the rant came seven, eight hours in when I was sick and tired of constantly coming up against this stupid nonsense of, of, of oh my God, I'm a, I'm a woman and I was cloned from a man. because And it's just like, oh, shut fuck up. <laughs> Because I played seven hours of a really boring fucking game. Yeah. And then I went on to play another 18 hours of more boring because it was shit. So when you come and, across... And now everybody's coming around to that, right? Took, oh, took them a oh. little bit. <laughs> took them a little bit. <laughs> now they're coming yeah, yeah, around yeah. But to it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because people who were, who were going, oh, look at this guy. Look at this 
this this fucking man is crying crying no i think it's called screaming something it's called anger something you'd never understand because you soy but they're, they're, they're just trying to put their own oh you're crying no tears just just screams just fucking yelling uh oh my god it's at the beginning of the, the video no it's not this is seven hours into him playing That's the game the line that got me so much about that uh with people constantly mentioning that saying he was in a maze i'm like bro the video is still live the stream is still live. This rant did not happen at the beginning of the game during the. It was on the stream. day two. It was on the second it, it on stream the day, as well. It, it was on the day two stream. It, so what the fuck are you talking about? Because and, and this is what I was saying. Like in the video, right? You have a mild, rather mild reaction, right? You are not. You acknowledge it, but you have a mild reaction when the, w during that menu screen. Yeah, it was it was a mild. You didn't even raise your voice during no. during that during that part. It was a mild reaction, but these disingenuous pieces of shit again going back to contact doesn't matter are acting like the rant that happened on day two, seven hours into the game, happened when you immediately saw pronouns. Same shit that we're dealing with right here. To your the, point, the people I would have would say, Eric, when people challenge them and say, "Actually, this is seven hours in." They would reply, I don't care. Yeah. Because context they, they doesn't need, matter. Man. They just need their own ideology affirming. Bingo. As you know, I've been I've certainly dealt with this myself, where <laughs> people need you to be something. They need yeah. you to have a position. They need you to be the bad guy. Yeah, you have to be their boogeyman. <laughs> yeah. And no amount of evidence that you present to them is going to is going to change anything. Like I can show. A, a million receipts. It's like this whole Air July or, or the Ripperverse can't take my criticism, criticism, criticism. And it's like I could sit here and provide 17 receipts that show that it's just not true. That, that's, that has nothing to do with anything taking place here. It doesn't matter. That person's mind is going to be made up because they need Eric July to be that. They need the Ripperverse to be that. They need ass to have those positions. They need him to be some a uh, 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 screecher um uh that that is ranting immediately after he saw uh, um a a a pronoun mm -hmm. and they can't deviate from that they've made their arguments they probably pre-planned them the pro the uh the update has been uh installed patch notes included right and they cannot deviate from that you have to be this and that's what's happening here with gina and that Mm -hmm. You can ask, and this is the point that I made when I originally covered this. I said, I'm willing to bet this cosplayer that we're going to talk about, I'm willing to bet no cameras, doesn't need, don't need it. If you said, hey, what exactly did a, I just ask her, what exactly yes. did G Gina Carano do that was uh, so abhorrent? Yeah. I'm willing to bet the house that they have, they don't have an answer for. I, I, I I think she'll say something uh, wishy-washy, like, uh, oh, the, the, the beat bop boop. Yeah. But if, but if you get specific, because that in itself is nothing. Right. She just she just didn't want to curtail to your demands of sticking pronouns in her bio. So she made her own up, and that got you mad, which is ironic, because they make their own up every fucking day. Mm -hmm. So where's the difference? Never mind. Don't worry about that. Just don't think about it. But if you said to her, explain the context of the post, the post... Uh, of the Holocaust. Yeah. Talk it. Tell me about the context of that post. She won't be able to say shit. She won't, she won't be able to tell you shit. Yep. Because the hilarity is they are proving her right every fucking time they open their stupid, <laughs> ignorant, dumb, cancel pig mouths. Rex. Because this is exactly what Gene is talking about. An outside influence, be it political comes into a neighborhood and says, hey, do you know that your neighbors, well, guess what? Those Republicans, those Jews, whatever it may be, they're no good. They're fucking scum. Really? Yeah, they're doing bad shit. Really? Oh, yeah, we're the good guys. She's proving them right every fucking time. The whole COVID thing proved, I mean, it was so fucking spot on, which was the context, right? And it's talking about people turning on because that was the post, right? It was like basically it was talking about, you know, during that era, they didn't need to do much as far as uh, uh, first and foremost, you know, you wonder why something like that happens is because they're sitting here turning the people on each other. Right. And what the fuck happened?
Like what, what happened during this whole deal? Well, you had people that wanted to criminalize folks for not getting a jab. That happened. Like, I mean, people can pretend that people can pretend like that was never a thing, but that's what happened. That, that, that is quite literally what happened during that, during that time. And everybody here in, in the real world, you dealt with that. You dealt with people acting like you were the worst person in the world. You were killing grandmas if you went outside. You were you were doing it was so outrageous. It's kind of fun to laugh at it now, but that was not that long ago. And it was oh, fucking no. a crazy time. It was an insane time. If you look back at some of the shit that we had to deal with, and it wasn't just the coming from the government, it's coming from other people and maybe being led by by uh the, the the institution right and or maybe being having this propaganda and it working but it was effective because y'all turned on a bunch of a, a bunch of people people lost jobs man people lost their livelihoods because yeah. of that right um th the shit wasn't funny and 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 it happened that actually happened so you can't even even do with the context of what it is that she was saying it was right it was yes. spot on there was and nothing what have, wrong. What have we seen in pop culture, Eric? We've seen exactly the same thing. Disney, DC, Marvel, yeah. all of our entertainment companies. What have they done? They've turned the customers on each other. Mm -hmm. That's what they've done. We, they've, they've, that's that's it, it's fucking 101. And the government have done it. Oh, we all yeah. know the government have done it. Yeah. We've got some of the most corrupt governments around the fucking planet right now. And and they can they can openly be that. Because now they've got a dumb bunch of drones that are just parroting what they say because yep. it's too fucking stupid because all the positions of power, whether it be in business, whether it be in entertainment, whether it be in education, whether it be in politics, are all run now by the same fucking like mind people. Yes, fact. So they, so they can they are perfectly fine with with this 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 divisiveness. They want this divisiveness. Yeah. Pick through the government. You get people divided. You get people arguing amongst each other. They ain't looking at where they should be looking. Yeah. They're looking at the wrong fucking place. You start shouting about Star Wars and Indiana Jones and Marvel movies. Meanwhile, Disney are fucking propagandizing and throwing all kinds of shit at your children. Same with the education and, and meant, system. And, and saying it. Like, it ain't like it's, like yeah. they, they're so we're, cocky we're now. They're targeting your kids. Yeah. Absolutely, the, the not so gay agenda, right? Yeah. Like it's, it's not even covert as much anymore. Cold more, I guess you could say it was a little more covert. Now it's like, yeah, we doing it, you son of a bitch. So you know that you have a bunch of people, and, and again, the gaslighting from other people that aren't even working for these companies, Shield Media and such, which I guess effectively they do work for these companies in oh, some hell yeah they do <laughs> in some kind of way, saying this bullshit. And just repeating, and that's what gets me about really in any given situation. Uh, with with as and myself having been public figures and and, and been um, you know uh, in the YouTube space for a, a while and having this following, we've dealt with people like <laughs> I made this. It wasn't a joke. It was more so I was being dead serious. One thing. Uh, this is what the internet is for me, and I know you had to deal with that during the um, the, the whole which pops up every now and then, right? The whole Starfield thing, right? It's like you wake up, you open your phone, and there's some crazy shit being said about you that you didn't even know about. Oh. Like it, it's a completely made up thing, and it doesn't stop people from from parroting it. They will say it over and over and over and over, right? And it'll be said, and you're like, "Well, that never happened. That wasn't my position." I'm glad you brought up your situation with uh with the whole Starfield thing because it's such a prime example of it because yeah i got there in there in the trenches for a little bit right um and i'm sitting here like guys you you keep saying i'm sitting here like they're going going like having a conversation with someone that is totally convinced right and even if i show them the video they are totally convinced that as had that rant at the opening of the video game mm -hmm. and i'm i'm like quite literally saying here's the link not just sharing you the link. I'm sharing you the timestamp, bro. I I'm sharing you every. So when you click it, you don't got to do much work. All you have to do is click it and watch the video. What are you talking about, idiot? He, he, the rant was at the beginning. I'm like, you can't reason with a person like that. 
No. This person is it has clung to this this narrative and they're not moving away from it. That's no, it. because they they can't formulate their own opinions. They must be giving an given an opinion mm -hmm. to have. Mm -hmm. And that's why they can't debate these opinions or they can't justify these opinions Correct. because they don't understand the logic behind where it came from in the first place. Yep. So if you say to them, this person, oh, you fucking had a rant at the beginning of this video. No, it's actually seven hours in. Their worldview, their, their whole thing just got destroyed. Can they turn around now and go, ah, oh, okay, my bad. Or, okay, it was seven hours in. No, you can't have that. You gotta, you've just got to go on the attack then. you just got to be egregious then. you just got to be obnoxious then. Because you dare challenge my position. You dare. I'm now offended because I've just been made to look a fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> so so I'm just going to come out. You're dealing with fucking children. True. You know, they're all anime avatars. They've all got yeah. fucking pronouns in their bio. Yeah. They've all got, got 58,000 fucking flags. I support this <laughs> fucking... Uh, Rockbuster flag. Queers for, flag. for Saudi Arabia, <laughs> you know, and shit like that, because they've got no fucking clue what the <laughs> fuck's going on in the world. You know, they've got all this kind of stuff going it's on in the... They've got a fucking... If I if if this was like the real world, if this was ten years ago, I'd be like, ah, oh, we got a shit, we got a shit lord, we yeah. got a shit lord, or we got a mima. Okay, I get you. Well done, well done, yeah. good one, dude. We're not. We're literally dealing with fucking reta retarded people now. <laughs> they've been they've, they've just recruited an army of fucking spackers. That's what they've done, <laughs> and they've just let them them loose on Twitter. And half the time they got shit, dumb shit like uh. Openly autistic in their fucking oh, it's, it's, it's like, I believe you. I believe, I you. believe you. And then you that's, go, that's and the then I did, that, yeah, I did that to somebody and they got mad. They then reported me and sent the screenshot of them reporting me for saying, I agree with your bio. <laughs> that's the level of fucking idiocy you've got to deal with. Needless to say, nothing happened with that, uh, that uh, report. But that's the sort of people that you're dealing with. As soon as I see that anime avatar pronouns in bio, I just go three dot mute. <laughs> Let them fucking scream into the ether. Into the I abyss. don't care. You have got nothing I need to hear. You're five years old. You've <laughs> never touched a woman's fucking breast in your life. Okay. You haven't got a fucking clue. Your sperm count is fucking down. It's in the, it's in the negatives. You couldn't fucking impregnate a fucking horse fly. You know, you're not going anywhere in life. You're not going anywhere until you turn that fucking PC off, open that front door and go outside. <laughs> that's where that's where the day starts. Okay. <laughs> Try some of that. That's but you know it's never gonna happen. Never good at that. You know, it's they're gonna go back to the bed. They haven't changed the linen for fucking 58 weeks. <laughs> you know, still wearing the same underwear that they've had on for three and a half years. That's oh, that's, that's where they are. No, it's like uh mute. Yeah, it, it's uh, and it's 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 like it's a different dimension. I was having this conversation with uh, my team actually today, uh, and we and we were meeting up about like um, just how how different things are, right? Like we got MegaCon, right? Um, we got we've done San Diego Comic Con, and we've done we've done Fan Expo, right? Um, and we've done meetups entire meetups right and it's like it's a different world from the internet of course it is. it's not even and it's not even remotely the same like it's like obviously this is the real world this is what it is the internet is a sh i don't even know what to call it dude i went to leeds i went to leeds on friday okay there was, there was, there was uh, three decent-sized uh, comic shops in Leeds. I wanted to visit them. I wanted to go through the back issues, and I wanted to come home with a nice big stack of back issues, give some comic book stores some, some business, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I went to all three of them. Awful. Not the people. <laughs> just just nothing. Yeah. Forbidden Planet, no back issues. Nothing. Uh, Traveling Man, Leeds. Uh, they got they got one box, one long box that was well, no, sorry, one mid box that was half full of of grouped together comics that were essentially unsold modern comics, and then OK Comics in Leeds, very nice staff, 
very nice ladies there. Uh, but they, they had they had about uh, 20 long boxes and no bags, uh, no alphabet, no order. So you've literally got to spend hours if you want to look through and, so and maybe through, find yeah, yeah. something. It, it, it was a nightmare. Yeah. It was a nightmare. I came home with no back issues. Zilch. Nada. And, yeah. and what was going on? When I went to the shops, what was there? Toys, merchandise, anime. That was it. So the reality is it's dead. <laughs> And the fantasy on Twitter is comics is thriving. No, they're different dimension. And I spoke to one of the people in the shop and I said to because when I got to the third one, which was Forbidden Planet, I said, dude, I said, can I just be frank with you? I said, I said I'm Terry, but call me Frank. I said, I have been to OK Comics, Traveling Man, and now here. And I said, the back issues are non-existent, awful. I said, is there anywhere that you can point me to go buy back issues? And he went, you got to wait for a comic book fair to come in. So that's the only way that you're going to get back issues now, or a good, you know, that's the only that's the only way you're going to do it. Wow. I was like, uh, okay, appreciate mm. that. Um, but that's that's reality versus fiction. Comics are thriving. No, the the it's shops. A lot. It, 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 and it goes to show again the differentiation, like, and why these people. I mean, it would help them a lot if they. Oh, fucking shit. Went out to the real world, spoke with a couple of people in the real world instead of being consumed by whatever hive mind that they're a part of and just regurgitating. I think that's the proper term. Mm -hmm. Whatever the fuck they heard from whoever they're told to listen to. That is the authority, uh, if you will. And I think that gets in the way of of really anybody's understanding of, of how shit actually works. Right. So I think that's why so many people are so gullible, you know, to this point here. It's like, well, you have people believe in this shit. It's they're in another dimension. If you ask this person uh, what's going on, like this red, like a uh, cosplayer, like, listen, I'm going to read some of this. Listen to this. I f it, f it felt, excuse me, like an enormous slap in the face to like everything the convention really should be standing for, considering they should know who is their target audience. Now, again, following that immediately, being young people, queer people, LG, since when were these the, the if you don't mind asking me, since when were these the specific like target audience? And when I, when you, so target Enough. audience means you're specifically targeting these people. Now, considering the comic industry or, or, or any of that, since when, since when was this the primary target demographic? When was this ever the focal point? Uh, about six years ago, seven years ago. Okay, so these people believe, right, because of fake narratives, hive minds that have infiltrated the industry, that mm -hmm. this is who they, who who their target audience is. Now I'm asking another question. Mm. Give or take percentage wise of let's just take these people right here young mm. queer dumb lgbt yeah people Retarded. yeah <laughs> what well, going to a general con about comics what do you think that percentage of the makeup of, of those uh participants are uh, i mean if we're taking if we're taking out the people who are bullshitters oh the frauds the, yeah, because uh, the, there's the, there's 90%, 99%, sorry, my bad, 99% of, of, of uh, transmissions on Twitter are fucking frauds. Mm -hmm. It's all just attention-seeking nonsense because it's a fad. So if we're talking actual reality, probably just the same as everything else, about 3%. Okay. So I guess the, the position is, and this is what I, I, I'll finish in. I'll finish it real quick. People for all walks of life, that are so diverse that it feels like it just completely goes against, you know, everything that they should be standing for. So why, this person... Why? why? My question is why? Why should a place that just wants to sell fucking comics, why <laughs> should they be standing up for your ideology? The guy's got a fucking business to run. Yeah. Your fucking pink turquoise white flag... 
and fucking you i support ukraine uh nuclear weapons for ukraine uh you know uh queers for Sa saudi arabia all of the fucking nonsense and that that shit world war three is the only way we can have peace all that fucking bollocks that these fucking idiots spouse why is that what's that got to do with a guy trying to sell some fucking books nothing they don't got jack shit the patriots coach today uh yeah i see color because if you oh, don't see color, you don't see racism. Win a fucking football game. That's what you're there for. Win a fucking football game. Why are you talking about color? It's the NFL. There's more black people in the NFL than fucking white boys. It's not even close. Either. You want a, you want a fucking influx? You want an influx of crackers? <laughs> Shut up. Win a game. <laughs> Win fucking six Super Bowls, then open your fucking mouth. Such and even then, we'll still tell you to shut up. This guy, people are there. Nobody has. To, this isn't ideology. This is infection. This mm. is infection. This is a business. Mm. Businesses are there to make money, make profit, provide co content for people to either uh, take on board, love, purchase, make a product that they purchase. That's his job. His job isn't to wave your stupid flag. <laughs> you're young, dumb, and you're not full of cum, and that's half your fucking problem. Hey, but apparently, um, it, it, uh, Gina Carano, and that's the context here It's for guys that joined us late. Gina Carano, according to this cosplayer, existing, goes against everything the, the con stands for. Again, according to this cosplayer, which is the, the target audience of young, queer, LGBT people. Look, I get it. There's a lot of confused I young don't. people. Well, well I, say, I say this. I don't much. get it at all. <laughs> I say this much. There's a, there's a lot of young and, and extremely dumb people out there in the world that believe that their worldview which was largely shaped by social media is the worldview they don't exists. have a worldview eric because they don't have a life <laughs> it's, it's you have to have a life to have a worldview yeah. you have to actually be in the world to have a worldview you have to have experienced things to have a worldview twitter is not a worldview true. social media is not a worldview true Somebody saying, oh, I like your cosplay when he's trying to fucking hit onto you, really, because he just wants to get to your knickers. It's not a worldview. Yeah. Getting a heart, a like, a friend, a follow is not a worldview. Yeah. This is why they pick these nonsense fucking takes from online, because they have nothing. Your personality isn't somebody else's take. However... That's what you want it to be. That's what drives you. Yeah. Safe space. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. If you oh, think you need yeah. a safe space, don't leave your apartment. Stay there. Stay there. I think it's for the best. I just want, I just want you to be happy and secure. Don't leave your apartment ever. Never. Let daddy government, let daddy uh, corporation just deliver everything to your doorstep. You never have to step outside again. You never have to feel scared again. You never have to have the person have a different opinion to you ever again. Heaven forbid. Never experience anything. Let us tell you how to run your life. We'll look after you. Daddy corporation, daddy government. It's all the fucking same thing. Same, it, they are same in fucking business, different name, same thing. It's all in the Fucking cool. hell. It don't and make yeah. me get the bubble wrap. <laughs> Don't make me get the bubble wrap. I will. <laughs> but seriously, like these people are, and the fact that there's people that get get whipped into shape by these, you know, I guess that says a lot about you as a person, right? If you are allowing yourself to be whipped uh, into adopting the position of these batshit crazy people, right? Um, which is what's happening here. And then, well, uh, well, let me backtrack just a little bit, at least in the sense of fan expo. It looks like they added another day because she's that popular, right? Yes. 
And then that's uh, the reality. We, yeah, here's the, that's the reality, right? And we talked to Drunk 3PO yesterday on Tuesday night's main event, and they're even considering adding a third day because that's how popular she is. Mm -hmm. Guys, that's the, re that's the real world. And I think that, look, I guess this can be said for a multitude of different things. I believe that people, it's comfort. It's a comfort thing, right? And they want to believe something so bad. They have to believe it. They, if they get any evidence to the contrary of their position, it, it's like it, it hurts them. Hey, I've been lied to. I've been, uh, I've been, um, I, I've been led to believe something that simply was not true. So it's a very easy position to just have a position and never deviate from it whatsoever, right? And that's what you largely deal with with these idiotic people who they believe Gina Carano said something about some things, right? And I hate to bring up old shit, but it's the truth. I mean, if look no further than this. There's somebody that is that works with Lucasfilm as well. So actually, let, let me say this. Back to just, just taint your bit. So if the argument was that, okay, well, there's a comparison, and because you think that the uh, that's off limits. Let's say you think that all of what happened under the guy with the funny mustache from Germany, nobody can say anything, reference it ever. Okay, cool. I think he's their best mate right now. <laughs> well, I don't they have think a lot they know of what the fuck's going on now. Um, they, it, it, you know, there's a lot of similarities. When people want to uh, watch my old videos, uh, uh, one called my essay called "Yes, the Nazis Were Socialists," uh, and then I, as I start breaking down some of the ideology as well as the especially economic philosophy, it starts to sound real familiar to some of the some of the positions it is that these guys have. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, nonetheless. Don't worry it, about it. Don't think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Nonetheless, even if I conceded that, okay, oh, it's off limits. Let's just take your stuff to the logical conclusion. There's another man that was not just another man. It's a co-star for the same company in the same fucking show. Yeah, it's Pedro Pascal. Okay, let's just say his name. Pedro Pascal. <laughs> who did the, a similar thing, mm -hmm. but was just wrong. And even more disrespectful because he likened half the fucking voting population. He likened to... Republicans to Nazis. Yes. That's and, what he did. Uh, well, when he says Confederate, I don't think he knows what he's really saying there. But no. let's just go with the big one. If you're a Republican, you're a Nazi. That's that's essentially what he said. Okay. Yeah. Wait, that, it's, that's it's what exactly the... what he said. Yeah. Okay. It's exactly what he said. Did Lucasfilm do anything to this guy? Yeah, they gave him a promotion in the film. It's it's almost as if that the comparison had nothing to do with with, with the the issues that they had with Gina Carano. Mm. Funny how we that works. We just want you to be inclusive. That's all. We just want you to be inclusive. And by inclusive, we mean we demand that you do what we want you to do. Okay. Um, I don't bow down to demands. Oh, well, you're not being inclusive. No, that's not how it works. You need to respect our pronouns, right? You're asking for respect without respecting my position. Mm. Do you understand how respect works? You don't demand respect. That's what a heel wrestler does to get yeah. cheap heat. If you want respect, you have to give it and earn it. They don't, sure. they don't, so they have no comprehension of the word respect. Respect this, respect that, demand, demand, demand. No, but when you, when you are able to dictate because you are on the right side of history, when you are supported and protected by education, government, corporation, entertainment, you don't have to actually act like a human being. You can do what they did to Gina which is dehumanize her, or at least attempt to. She refused to be dehumanized. But there are a lot of people who have been dehumanized. We also know people in the entertainment space that have de-lifed themselves because of accusations made. Any it's evidence? Happened. No, nothing like that. What charges, let's, what charges have ever been brought up against Russell Brand? None. Why was Russell Brand targeted? Oh, Oh, I, I, oh, I see. I get it now. 
that's what you can do. That's 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 the the weaponry of social media. Because mm -hmm. you don't need evidence. You don't need to have uh, a nuanced position. You don't need to respect the other person's opinion. It's about capitulation. Yes. If we can't, if we can't get them to capitulate, we'll shame them. We'll destroy them. We'll destroy everything about them. You're dealing with scum. No. It's just scum. <clears throat> they don't want to believe go. Gina, but Pedro's an ally. So yay, Pedro. Yeah, Republicans are Nazis because we'll dehumanize them. I'm, I'm not saying I agree with the Republican Party or the Democrat Party. All I'm saying is what they're repeating, the narratives yeah. that they're repeating. Yeah. yeah. But likening them is called projection. It's you know, yeah. you can't be a fascist and accuse others of being fascist <laughs> when you're using fascistic behavior to push your ideology. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's exactly what's going on here. Gina said exactly the right thing, that the, the, the worm in your ear starts to make you demonize people. And then when, when the communities that they exist in, the, the neighborhoods that they exist in, start to believe that worm in their ear, what do you get? You get 1930s Germany. That's what you get. Yeah. You've got people calling the way that somebody votes once every four fucking years a Nazi. A box they tick once every four years for whatever reason it may be. Taxation, education, uh, because they, they look after the roads where I live. Whatever it may be. They have their reason for doing so, but if you tick that box, you're now you're now a uh, genocidal, <laughs> uh, mass murdering, war mongering. Yes, it's lunacy. You, you 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 can't have normal conversations with these people because they're not fucking normal. It's impossible. It, they're not. Yeah, I mean, they're not normal. Obviously, at all, they have uh, often have a lot of mental issues okay um i mean a lot and sometimes they'll just tell you uh it'll be in a bio don't gina, you dare gina, bring it way, up gina was cancelled not because of that tweet that was that was the the uh the reason why they could go for her mm -hmm. that was the that was the tweet that they could misconstrue the context and spin a narrative yeah they wanted her for the pronoun business they wanted her for the beep bop boop it's, because it's they religion, demanded yeah. she put them in and she went no i don't want to do that okay it's not it's not my thing you you do you know gina's a lovely woman do what you want I, yeah. i'm okay no it's not about you being okay gina it's about you doing what we want you to do if yeah. you go to a convention if you've seen videos of gina at a convention reams and reams of girls lines is lines of girls though G girls could coming up dressed as yeah. Cara oh, Dune, or whatever that. it may be. She's got a huge female fan base. Yeah. But you ask, you ask one of these people, oh yeah, her fan base is a bunch of MAGA hat wearing blah, blah, blah. Insane. It's yeah. Insane. Yeah, it's... um. <sighs> I don't know, man. It, it's the fact that we're still talking about this, and I guess it really does show that how, how much work needs to be done. And I don't know if it's even possible to unlearn these people uh, because time has passed. The evidence is out there. And even with something like this, this isn't the first fan expo event that she's done. Did, did the world blow up? We were both at a fan expo event together. So Dark Side and Thanos were at one event. And there was never any problems. Uh, there was no attack on the young people, queer people, LGBT people, and people of color. Uh, th there was no, uh, that apparently is the target audience of, of all of these events. <laughs> there, sure. was never, there was never any, any of that. None of that was an issue. So you have some time. You're, far, you're further removed from even her leaving Disney. And these people would still rather cling to an, a lie, a falsehood, then I have to accept, well, maybe she's not what people told me that she is. Maybe, maybe she's, maybe she's okay. Maybe I was lied to. Maybe, it, and, and it, I talked about this in a recent video and I was like, guys, 
it should not kill you to do some research for yourself. <laughs> well, that sounds racist to me. <laughs> That sounds, that, that sounds like bigotry to me, that, Eric. I know I'm that sorry. facts may be, uh, I don't know, there's just some disparity here. I don't know. Um, but seriously, it should not kill you to, if someone says something, especially when it's something like damning, right? If it's something that is, like, evil, right, like this, no matter who it's about, it shouldn't take you but a few seconds. Maybe I should look up this shit. Instead of saying, well, this is the narrative. I got this chip installed in my head, and the update is um, is ready to be downloaded. Have I seen the facts? No. But they told me that Gina Carano was evil. And I, it, so that's just got to be what it is. I'm like, is it going to kill you to just... Look at some shit. To take take a little time. Use some search engine. I don't know whatever it is. Duck, duck, go, Google, whatever. Just stop taking people's fucking word for shit. I guess is the is the point it is that I'm trying to make on some shit like that, right? Just stop taking and then especially look. Even if that time period, like let's talk about the COVID thing, right? Let's say I gave you the benefit of the doubt, which I'm not because I was ahead of it. So if I was ahead of it, I feel like everybody should have been ahead of it. But whatever. Let's say for the sake of conversation, I gave people the benefit of the doubt. Like, oh, it's a scary moment and you just didn't know and yada, yada. Right. Even though the evidence was there. Let's just say that that was the case. Once we are further removed from it and more data is available and wildly accessible, at what point does it become your fault? that you are neglecting to digest the factual information and instead want something to be true. It's like, for example, we can say this on YouTube now, the lie that was heavily pushed by, I love that you said businesses and these, go these governments are essentially the same thing. The it's lie that these jabs prevented transmission. That was just not true. Like, Matt, like all. who had a meltdown yesterday, about the Republican primary. She was one who is perpetuating that lie. Yes. Just, it's not true. Like, it, it was never true, but it was especially not true. You even have members of these uh, these these uh, agencies and, and alphabet shits that have said, oh, uh, yeah, okay, we, we know that this doesn't prevent transmission. So they perpetuated a lie. It was never true. So... Once that information becomes available to you, and I'm just using this as an example, you can apply this to anything else. W once that information becomes available to you and you still decide to ignore it or not go seek that shit, well, that's a problem with the individual. And that's, I don't know. That's if, tribalism, though. Yeah, I mean, it's nef at what point does it become nefarious? You know, again, I try to get people to benefit of the doubt. Like, okay, look, man, someone you looked up to and you valued said something and you just took their word for, okay, yeah, they, whatever. But at what point, and I guess that's just a general question, does it become that you are, you are fucking up, right? When so much time has been removed and you still say the shit, you, you still have neglected because you've had an opportunity to go look this shit up for yourself and you still, you you still are like, this is the position, and I'm not deviating from it. Well, you the fuck up at that point. I can't even just solely blame the person that you listened to and that you looked up to that fed you this false information. At that point, it's 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 a you thing. Yeah. You're you're refu you're refusing to look at the evidence that's out there, and I think that's what's happening. Uh, that's what happened with Gina situation. That's what happened with you at Starfield. That's what's happened in various situations with myself uh, and the Riververse. That's probably happened to several people in the, in the chat, definitely uh, with the cra how crazy the world was uh, in 2020, where you're like, guys, here it is. It's right fucking here. You don't got to take my word for nothing. It's right there. I'm showing it to you. It's crystal clear. It's there. You don't got to take my word for anything. You don't got to take 
nobody's word for shit. The evidence is right there. And once that's been presented that to you, you choose to be like, nah, fuck it. I'm still, I'm still going with this because of tribalism, because of um uh, your sensibilities need to be protected. It's and not maybe ironic that, that their their thought is the only thing that they think is binary. Mm. It's either black or white. True. It's red or blue. That's it. There is no nuance. Yeah. It's 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 funny how it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun, yeah, fun, hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely hilarious, especially yeah. when it kind of destroy people's livelihoods. And you want you want the world to start start healing? You, you shut down every fucking social media platform tomorrow. <laughs> that's how you do it. You don't be addicted to it. That's for sure. You, you, um, you get into government, you just go. You know what? Yeah, uh, Facebook, uh, all of it. Bye, Twitter, the whole lot. Bye. Not in not in this country. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your for your state sponsored, corporate sponsored propaganda. But no, that is can't do that. Yeah, ju- yeah, can just did. Bye. <laughs> well, I made this point the other day. Like, I think some people would be um, way better suited to take a couple of steps back from um, how invested they are in social media narratives. Yeah, and social media in 3 general. Three billion people. Yeah. Yeah. Just take a couple of steps back and say, let me go without it for a little bit. You will better your life immediately. Um, you, you and, and you will maybe put yourself in a position to seek some truth. Um, because it's, 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 it's a lot of bullshit you have to kind of go through, right? Uh, uh, but the truth is out there. Um, and I think it's something that people should be seeking. <laughs> Uh, instead of simply again taking people's word for shit, taking people's word for shit is is what got, what got us in a lot of the messes it is that we we're in right now. Just from a cultural perspective, um, uh, we, the West in general, it's just this person says some shit. I needed this to be true. I refuse to deviate otherwise. It demonizes the people that I'm told to dislike. It props up the people that I'm told are my allies. I'm told that are the good guys. I'm told that are the the, uh, it's no self-reflection. Now, let me say that. Maybe that's the way that we word it. It's no self-reflection. There's no, maybe I got it wrong. There's no humility uh, uh, from these types of people. They want, and I, I guess destroying people, and you know, it sucks that what we saw with Gina Carano, but they were very much prepared. And I'm not going to say that they were successful because they weren't, obviously. But they were very much prepared to ruin her entire career they wanted her dead oh I, i'd go you so want far to as to say that that's the reality is that they don't they don't just want to destroy everything about you they want you gone but you come up against someone like gina and she won't she won't do that she won't take that stance she's too strong she's she's had a life you know her parents are very successful she could have just had a life of riley she got in the fucking octagon yeah took some True. fucking hits True. Nothing fucking wakes you up to the world to a, than a punch in the face. Tell me about it. You know, then she went out after that, got into TV film. She's had she's had a life. She's she's crafted her own her own destiny. This is somebody who's existed, who's lived in the world, who understands the world. And she's dealing with children. Children that have no fucking idea. And for what you've been saying with with at what point does it become their responsibility? They're being fed, constantly fed. It doesn't matter. You're still right. You're still right. <laughs> you, you got, you got, when, when, when you have governments, corporations, whatever, when you have the people in the most uh, senior of positions acting so dishonestly, that just tells everybody else you can be dishonest. When you have somebody in a position of power that actually has a compass, a moral compass, and puts their foot down when it comes to this, you know, we got it wrong. If you got it wrong. Accountability. Nobody wants to take accountability Mm. anymore. Nobody wants to take responsibility anymore. They live mollycoddled lives. They're afraid to make mistakes because mistakes can lead to cancellation. Yeah. And so they're so petrified. 
when we were kids. There was no mobile phones. There was no internet. We'd get, we'd get up at, we'd be kicked out of bed at nine o'clock in the morning on a oh, weekend. Man, that's for sure. And told to come back for tea. Yeah. And we'd go to the fields with our friends or we'd just go out fucking, right. you know, whatever we're doing. Yeah. And we'd just yeah. be there all day, yeah. all day. Scrapes, bumps, falling over. Yes. Everything. Coming back home. Oh, look at the state that you're in. Go have a bath. Go have a shower. While you, while you get your mom's cooking you some food. That's what I get. Nowadays, I'm just off out, mom. I've got me phone. I'm okay. I've been out for five minutes. I'm okay. Okay. Text me every two minutes. I don't want to go in here. I don't want to go in there. So molly coddled. Everything's molly coddled, molly coddled. Uh, actually, we can't allow your child to go in this area because this area is now health and safety risk. So your children can't go there because there is this uh, slight chance of injury. They might trip and get a little scraped knee. I'm sorry. It's just absolute bubble wraps inside nanny state. This is what a nanny state is. Oh, yeah, 100%. Cameras everywhere, watching <laughs> everything. Can't go anywhere. You can't do anything unless it's, unless it's corporate approved, government approved. Mm -hmm. it, has to, it has to go through their, their little pipeline and their filter, let's call it that, um, for it to be something that is embraced and ex acceptable. I think that's a lot of what we see kind of in the alternative space uh, and, and like how we see people, people, hell, there's even people in the alternative space that kind of feel this way um, as the comic book industry, for example, <laughs> kills itself. Uh, I've been seeing tweets from comic pros that have been around all of a My sudden. Pros, you mean prostitutes or pro <laughs> Let's say guys that have well, worked. They got to supplement their income somehow, Eric. Yeah, and and they're starting to uh, they're starting to to uh, realize that maybe there's something new uh, that 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 we we're going to have to consider, right? Um, because this shit ain't working, and maybe there's more opportunity on the other side. Uh, now, again, that opportunity isn't going to be it for everybody, um, and people are going to find out the hard way. But you know you get people that get mad at those types of deals, right? And they had been for so long and they were clinging to it. Why? Well, because it, it, it didn't go through their filter. Hmm. So it's not legitimate, right? The river verse, whatever it does is not legitimate because, well, it didn't go through fucking diamond or it didn't go through this. It didn't go through that. It's like, who gives a fuck? Hmm. Who cares? Did that, did that, did that take away from the, 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 the people that are into it? New fans, old fans of comics. No, it takes away. It takes away from fucking nothing, um, just because uh, people that have been in the game, Graham Nolan or or uh, or Chuck Dixon, that have been in the game for as long as they are, work on their own uh, projects, and they ha they see a lot of success, and maybe it's not attached to uh, whatever the shit it was that they were doing. Doesn't make it less legitimate. Nah, I'm pretty sure they're making. We talked about it on the show. I'm pretty sure they're making more money now than they ever had. <laughs> hell, even doing a Batman. Right. Um, because, well, that's the current setup. But you're still going to have people that delegitimize those efforts because, well, it didn't go through their filter. It, it didn't go through um, what they established as the proper channels. Oh, thank God for that. And uh, if, uh, uh, if the, it, the proper channels leads to bankruptcy. That's what <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, eventually it leads to the big six. That's that's what it that's what the proper channels um, get you. But that's all that it is. It's a. You heard me use the term perceived legitimacy. That's what it's called. It's this is the way nobody knows actually why it's why it is the way they just know it's been the way and it's been this way for a very long time. And whatever comes through this pipeline is what is the the industry. If it doesn't come through the establishment, the, the, yeah, that's what it is, the establishment and if it exists outside of this bubble, it is that they have determined it's something wrong with it. Um, and I think that's why they lashed out and they have lashed out in the way, even if, even if you're right, it doesn't matter. Um, I think this is why they've lashed out so long. So, so many times. A dying <laughs> animal lashes out. Yeah. That's what a dying animal does when it's bleeding out, when it's, when it's, know it's in trouble 
it starts flailing its arms everywhere. Mm -hmm. Put whatever context you want on this, Eric. That's what a dying animal does. Desperate for attention, desperate for relevancy, desperate to, to get their voice heard. Somebody listen to me! Somebody listen to me! Somebody, please, listen to me! That's what, that's what they do. That's yeah. why they scream, shout, flail around. Desperate. That's what yeah. the mainstream comic book industry is doing. It's been doing it for a lot of years. It's, it's dead. <laughs> the mortal wound has already been, has already been inflicted. Yeah. You, you, you're bleeding out now. That's all that's happening. You're bleeding out. There is, there is, nobody's here to resuscitate you. You keep refusing help. You're too stupid to refuse to, to actually accept help. You, you're bleeding out. That's 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 where they are. Oh no, Eric, Eric, Eric's, Eric's uh, rip of hers. It's, it's, it's nonsense. It's blah 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 blah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, oh yeah. Seven million dollars worth of nonsense. Oh yeah. Yeah. My my bad. Our bad. Uh, new characters, brand new people brought into brought into a comic book space. Uh, over a hundred thousand plus books sold. Yeah. 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 I don't need your approval to do what I want to do. I don't need your approval to take a fucking shit. But it's established that if you need a crap, you have a crap, you know? That's the yeah. established thing you do, yeah? yeah. You don't yeah. Let it... I don't need permission. You don't need permission to do what you need to do. You don't need DC's, Marvel's, Mags's, Alex DeCunty's, uh, fucking hide him at twat waffles. You don't need any of these people's approval. To do anything. Oh, I agree. I agree that Mark Millar, I agree with him that we need professionals, like old school professionals to come in and shore up the industry. However, it all determines on who you actually call a professional. And no, no, shut the fuck up. The man knows what he's doing. You don't. Yeah. He's got, he's got the recipe for living off of his uh, creations and uh, making not only himself more money but giving a job to other people uh this is this is he's got it figured out he and they got mad at him and again it, it was it, the reason why they got angry at mark it was less about just again it's not just the alternative it's like y'all gotta understand how long they've been clinging to this lie that is an industry that was really built on a house of cards in the first place thin ice um straw house whatever analogies you want to use metaphors it was fucked um and it always has been this way to be fair it's just that you had this massive sugar daddy uh maybe two of them uh known as marvel and dc that had no issues <clears throat> being able to subsidize your bad behavior because they could absorb losses and <clears throat> that could only last for so long surprising and to be fair it, I, I can't even say it's surprising it lasts that long because then you start thinking about it well both of the major companies have been moving around and shaking i mean think about in our lifetimes between toy biz and all that shit with marvel they've moved around sony why do they have the all that so yeah. to be fair it's all been moved around it's not like it's just been sitting under a property that's been successful and same thing can be said for warner and dc which changed names 15 times fucking uh and and now who knows what the hell discovery and Paramount is about to become a debt of Tron uh, and, 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 and maybe combine their, their, their debt under and, and have DC maybe be under that. It's all bullshit. It was always bullshit. And now you have people that are figuring out there are ways that you can be profitable and do creative things. Show your bottom line. Yeah, I, I would love Marvel. Show your bottom and line. I'm so glad you bring it up as we've never seen it. Of course we haven't. Because they're not well, profitable. That's true. We have if never they shoot their bottom line. They're going to shoot show millions of dollars of losses. That's what they're going to show. Yeah, and we all know that. Yeah, that's why you don't hear that. That's why you never see that. Show yeah. your bottom line. That, that's the that's the that's the truth. Um, they they hid behind like sales for a long time, and now they don't even do that anymore because, in comparison, even to themselves, sales are down. So there are no public numbers. Nobody knows what the fuck um, is going on with well, Diamond, uh, Penguin Random House, and Lunar. 
Nobody has any fucking idea what the numbers are. The best we can do is go by point of sales um, uh, numbers that that are with these combined fucking stores, Comic Hub and shit. Like that's the best that they can possibly do because the distributors themselves aren't releasing the numbers, and and the publishers don't aren't, aren't releasing the numbers either. When I went into Forbidden Planet. And I walked past the one singular row of new comics. That's all they had, just one display. Let's say yard wide. Yard wide. Different shelves on with the comics. The one, the one that was like directly my eye line, you know, eye line level, pretty much central. The one that your eye line draws to. It was a comic by Marvel. And it was. Marvel superheroes with cats. And the front and the front cover was Captain Marvel with a cat. And the bottom image was Black Cat with a cat. And I can't remember who the middle one was. It's another female hero with a cat. And I saw that and I said to myself, what fucking chance has it got? What chance have you... What, who the fuck is buying this apart from nobody? That's... that's, that's I'll see if I can find... i see if I can, Marvel uh, heroes and their cats. I'm going to see if I can find the, 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 the actual comic. Yeah. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was like... Um, Man, imagine like we're, we're teleported back to the 1960s. Imagine <clears throat> like being a comic book shop owner and, no. and, and giving that. I refuse to. Well, yeah, that's depressing. I understand. And like, you know, you can't sell this shit, man. You, you know, you can't, man. It's hope. It, it, it's hopes and dreams, man. It's hopes and dreams, which you can't really sell. You know, it's it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, it is that look, the industry is going to fundamentally change, and I think that there's going to be a lot of spurging because of it. Oh, wow. um, like a lot. I do think that you're going to see a a lot of. I see yellow flash in the chat. Shout out. I saw some people come from ner neurotics channel as well. Shout out. Um, there. Let's see if I can conceptualize this for people. So the industry is, again, the makeup, I don't know the exact market share these days, but in terms of books being sold, Marvel and DC dominates, right? Um, yes, there's the images and Dark Horses and all those guys, but largely it's dominated by Marvel and DC. And when you look at the major publishers, they're all cycling through the same goddamn talent anyway. Um, so they're cycling through the same channel and distribute their books the same exact way, right? It's the same shit. As people start to come to terms with the reality that things are going to start to look a little different, um, which I've seen again, comic pros as, as cost them comic, maybe prostitutes, um, have started to come to terms with this may be looking different. Um, and there's going to be some that. And by some, I mean, yeah, literally some that cross over gracefully. I think a lot of those are going to be artists that have talent and there will be a demand for them somewhere with somebody's project that may be independent. But there are going to be others that are going to lash out like no other as they cling to what was. Y'all got to understand, for people that aren't in this industry, and you maybe, or you are, you're just more looking at it from strictly a customer's perspective. Y'all have to understand, and it sounds harsh, but it's the truth. There is not a spot on the other side for a significant amount of people. 99% of writers. <laughs> There's no true demand 
There's no true demand. There's no true. They were being propped up. That was it. They were being propped up. So we talk about mortal wounds and these animals like you. You are going to get a lot of people that do ugly shit and dirty tricks because they are having to cope with the reality that maybe the industry is about to fundamentally change. And that comes with its share of uncertainty. Um, and uncertainty frightens a lot of people. Yeah, the uncertainty is they're going to have to earn their position. That's the uncertainty. Oh, shit. I'm going to be held accountable. It's that word again, Eric. I'm mm -hmm. going to be held accountable for my sales. I'm going to be held accountable for my potential conduct. Mm -hmm. Things that they don't want to be held accountable for in the current iteration. Yeah. When you're protected by corporation, right? when you're protected by Marvel, DC, a.k.a. Warner and Disney, and they just want to hold on, and they espouse the same shite that you do, of course you're safe. But if somebody came in who wasn't even politically motivated and just went, do you know what motivated I am? Sales motivated. That would send a fucking shockwave through the mainstream industry right now Bad. because the vast majority of people who are there, aka writers, not necessarily the art, well, some definitely some artists, but you are absolutely right. The most solid positions will be the artists with actual talent. Yeah. 99% yeah. of the writers will be like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because they it, know. It's, um, it's, it's a harsh reality. It, oh, it, it I found hurt. it. You found uh, the comic shit. Found it. I, I pull up. Um, I can't believe it, but I found it. It, it was something like this. It wasn't, I don't think it's this exact one, but it's something, it was something like this. Marvel Meow. I th it could be this one. Marvel Meow number one. Sweetheart, there's no number two coming. <laughs> you might as well put one shot. One shot and we fired a blank. <clears throat> Marvel meow. And that, I think this I, might yeah, have been it. This might have, because it's different heroes. You got Black Widow there. You got yeah. uh, Black Cat. Uh, uh, and, a, and then a gay dude. Yeah. Who, who was that? He's, gay. he's a Marvel hero. Oh, uh, yeah, true. He's, he's, a, he's cool. a modern day, Marvel, Marvel, you know, yeah. mainstream hero. So uh, I don't know who the hell that's meant to be. But. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Uh, there, there you go. Look, uh, Black Cat's got cats. Uh, Black Widow's got a cat. Um, Tim Drake has got a cat <laughs> and a dick in his mouth. And uh, Ms. Marvel's holding a cat. It's not a cat. It's a fuck off. <laughs> it's a fucking cat, man. Uh, I, like I said, I just can't imagine being a. Are you gonna what? I... What am I meant to do with that, Eric? I'm trying to make it. I'm trying to run a business. I'm trying to make some money. What the fuck am I going to do with that? Fireplace. Who's that for? Honest question. Who's that for? Who's that for? Mm, who who will buy this comic? Uh, nobody. I tell you what. The people that will buy, will buy it will say they'll buy it on Twitter, and they won't buy it on Twitter. They won't even fucking download it. They won't no. even pirate it. No, uh, they will not be buying it. They might. Steal a screenshot. Yeah, I was just about to say they'll take a screenshot and like uh -huh. you see that you see Miss Marvel holding the cat. That'll end up being their profile picture. Yeah. Oh yeah. This, this there. Yeah. That there. Yeah. That's, that's the their picture. new bio next yeah. to pronouns in fucking uh, <laughs> gays for Saudi Arabia. Blockbuster flag. Uh, flag. Yeah. Uh, Jews for Hitler. You know yeah. all, all that kind of shit that they got in the bio. Because <laughs> clue what they're saying. Yeah, it have a it have a laundry list of just weird shit. Uh, it'll mm. probably say uh, ADHD, AD, one hundred percent autistic, yeah. um, gay, queer, oh. so, um, non-binary, lesbian, Pantacle, Ukrainian, fuck. World War Three enthusiast. <laughs> they have all. It'll have all the works. Yeah, <laughs> and, and that'll words. be the profile. <laughs> A word soup of shite. It, 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 this it, is my it, personality. Oh, 
Good for you. Yeah, that'll be the uh, bio, and then that will be the. Um, the... Hey, if this if the Soskas are watching this, if you ever see this Soskas, that woman is soft. <laughs> so no restraints play reference. They'll, yes. they'll understand that. Yes. That woman there is soft. Yeah. Oh my god, that is so so uh fuck. I just can imagine being a, a comic book shop owner and you looking in that previews and like Marvel's pushing you to get it and you're like, fuck man. Should have bought it to review. <laughs> well you'd have, you would have made more money. I would have made more money than the sales of that book, yeah. yeah. That, that 100%. Yeah. Um, and do you know what I would have done with that money, Eric? What's that? I would have I would have put it towards making out and John aware of AIDS. Uh it's the stigma. Is that right? Oh sorry. Yeah, it's the stigma, it's, man. It's sorry. the it's the it's the it's the <sighs> you give the money to Elton John. To st- I would give money to stop Elton John having a stigma about AIDS. <laughs> yeah, it's it's about the I stigma. Said, Elton, here's 300 quid. Right, it's three hundred quid. Stop stigmatizing AIDS, you, you naughty. It's about the stigma, man. That's um, that's what this is about. Stigma, AIDS, and um, yeah, that'd be a very noble cause. Thank you. Um, for for I'm you, a noble to do kind that. of a guy. Um, uh, it'd be very, 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 very noble, and it will stick it to the evil people, uh, for sure. Um, that's that's. Yeah, and Alan Scott's sticking something somewhere, and <laughs> and uh, yeah, it it ain't. Sorry, I sprung a leak. Talk, talk about stigmas. Um, damn. So was that his Alan Scott was a was a limited series, right? <laughs> limited in talent, yes. <laughs> So Lim- uh, limited in what Alan Scott. I, I don't imagine to how it, it's got to be on issue two or three right now, right? Uh, oh, nobody, who 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 oh, knows? Nobody's talking about this shit uh, anymore. But it, it's got to be, it's got to be on issue two or three. Um, no, man, nobody knows. No, nobody's, nobody fucking knows because nobody nobody's talking about it. It's uh, on issue three, apparently. Okay, so it's on issue three. Mm. Um, oh man, those sales would be have to be in the tens. Of uh, tens, these, no tens. Yeah, it had to be in the tens. tens. Yeah, it had, it had to be in the tens. Um, I would, I would, uh, if if right, if I'm being serious, on it, I, I, being absolutely straight down the line, how many, how many copies did issue three sell? I would say, legitimately, I'm not being nasty now. I'm yeah. being like, let's think about this. 400. Okay. I, I would say. I would say 1,000 the shops. Which includes online retailers. Mm-hmm. I'm talking sold. I'm not talking. Sold, I'm not talking. I, look, shit. man, if we're, if we're talking sold, I'm going yeah. lower than that. I'm, I'm, I, 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 I'm going lower than that. I've actually sold. I'd have to go lower than that. I'd have to go something along the lines of 250 to 300. Of people that walked into a comic book shop. I'd like that book where J. Edgar Hoover sucks off that Green Lantern guy. <laughs> of people that will go in the shop and say that. I'm sorry. So we're, we're out of Tim Drake, Robin number six. No, no, no. That's not what I'm referring to. Uh, no, no. Oh. It's, it's the it's the it's the new the new legacy. The new the new one. The yeah. new one who's doing it. Yeah, who's doing it now? Yeah. It's the, the, well, the, if you if you wait five minutes, there'll be another one coming along very soon. <laughs> Gay people now in comics are like buses. You just have to wait five minutes, and another will come along. Eventually. Eventually. But and yeah, then, and then they'll give the story to CBR and say, "Hey, CBR." We've turning, we're turning super, we're, we're turning super Wonder Woman gay, and then CPR will make write an article for that person that told them, and they'll go, "Yay!" The story that I told the press, they wrote a story to me. 
and nobody else but me. <laughs> Comics. Comics. You can is, buy uh, them. Very, very uh, inclusive. Buy uh, Black Widow looking at a pussy. Cat. It's uh, it's it, it's uh, cat. Pussy cat. cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. But... Hey, Black Cat's got a cat. Did you get it? <laughs> I just don't have. I mean, I hate to be a comic book shop owner, but I mean, at least these guys are waking up, smelling the coffee, and realizing they have to invest in other things that aren't comics. Imagine being a comic shop owner, not being able to sell comics. There isn't any comic shops. Though. They're, Mer- they're merchandise stores. Now. Yeah, they're, they're toys, games, Funkos, anime shops uh, yeah. that might have oh, some uh, comics Ms. in the Ms. corner. Marvel's got a ginger pussy. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, in, Captain Marvel's going to in, in the corner one. There'll be a one rack uh, dedicated for new releases. Uh, but you have the, to the, walk through all the games. Untouched by humankind. <laughs> Dust, spider webs. Yeah. Wow, this this uh, this shelf's looking rather full. Yeah, it's this week's shite. <laughs> if you just wait a week, we're going to put them in that bin and bundle it up into five for a quid. It ain't even that. It's like, hey man, you went and bought you bought this game, you got a pack of Pokemon cards. Hey, we're just giving this to you. <laughs> we're just throwing it in there. Get oh, it's this okay. I've already here. bought toilet paper. <laughs> hey, we'll give we're just throwing it in. It's on the house. Here you go. After you uh purchased uh some Pokemon cards, here's the latest uh Alan Scott or <laughs> Alan Scott number one. Here you go. Um, I would please. if 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 somebody, honest to God, Eric, I swear on my fucking life, I swear on my life. If I was in a comic book shop and I made a purchase of something and they said, "Hey, we're going to give you this Alan Scott number one for free," I'm going to go, "Oh, it's okay. I'm very homophobic," <laughs> and just see what their reaction would be. I would turn it down for sure. Uh, I, I don't. I'm not wasting the the bags and the boards on that shit for sure. Uh, <laughs> or, or or the uh, long box space for for that shit. I'd be like, oh man, I'm good. I'm hey, fun. gay people in the chat, I love you. I'm not. You know, I'm not going to go at you. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. But uh, that's uh, such as the comic book industry. But we are going to see uh, a lot of people lashing out, angry, aggravated because of the fact that they may not have a spot on the other side. And speaking of spots on the other side, uh, I don't know if these guys have a spot on the other side. This uh, article that got published yesterday, and I wanted to go through it because I want Ash to give me, me his thoughts on how many of these shits are actually going to happen. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> right, next. So okay, uh, Volta came up with this this article that uh, is uh, every Star Wars movie that allegedly is or isn't happening. Um, and I think it, it, it seriously, I think mm. it's a good time to have the conversation because what do we have this year? I asked this question on Tuesday night's main event. What's this year coming out? Is it just Acolytes for Star Wars? Uh, Acolyte, that is it for Star Wars, and I think in terms of a Marvel film. Just dead, uh, Deadpool three, and that is it. That is it. So that's uh, that's all that we have happening. Um, Maybe Agatha towards the end of the year. Maybe, but we uh, know Ironheart's now been pushed to late twenty twenty five, i.e., never going to be released. They've been done with that for how long? Did you know they changed the name of Agatha again? Like not not since the last time we it's, we... it's the fourth it's the fourth title now. They're on the fourth title for the show. Tell me you aren't got a fucking clue what you're doing. <laughs> oh man, they they they're um <clears throat> throwing shit at the wall. So apparently there was a Boba Fett movie that was reported happening way Not back happening. Uh, 11 years ago. Yeah, that was turned into this series eventually got the book of Boba Fett. Yeah, so oh, uh, shit. that uh, that didn't happen. Do you know there's a couple of Gamorrean guards that weren't fat because body positivity, and uh, they walked off a cliff. 
because people were walking towards them. It sounds like the reasonable thing to do. Yeah, you know, you got all left, you got all right to move, but uh, they had a few guys walking towards them, so they just walked back and fell off a cliff. Got them out of the show. A guy spun around and shot a gun. Look gay as fuck. <laughs> Look stupid. Look retarded. But he did a spin. Did a spinning. Ooh, ooh. There were Vespers. Space Vespers. Boba Fett did this. Vroom, vroom. To some sand people. You know, the same people that steal people and rape them and enslave them. Because they're his friends now. But they all got killed. So then Baby Yoda turned up and fell asleep next to a Rancor monster. And everyone laughed. This is Baby Yoda. Star Wars! Nothing but Star Wars! Fucking Star Wars! It's fucking shite! What else uh, are they going to shit out? Ahsoka? <clears throat> Ahsoka in my fucking bathtub till she's dead. That's all I'll do. I'm only joking. I don't have a bathtub. I'd have to go down to the local swimming pool to drown her. Hey, I'm, I, I'm in love. I, I, a guy fell in love with me 10 years ago and sacrificed himself to protect our universe. And over the years, I'm kind of thinking that maybe I like him. Maybe I do. I want to go save him. So I'm going to travel to a whole nother universe and go up to him and go, I just want to be friends. <laughs> That's a soaker. That was a soaker. Is, is that what, are the, what other flavors have you got? Oh, by the way, the person that wrote that then got promoted. You always feel up. Yeah, of course. At least in Disney. Uh... What am I going to do? Hey, let's bring back the woman that killed the fucking franchise. Seven years after she killed it. They'll forget. No, they won't. Oh, it did nothing. We lost hundreds of millions. Star Wars. Talking about Star Wars. <laughs> it's fucking dead. Kathleen Kennedy got fired today. She got rehired just now. But her position at the company is tenuous, but she actually has an iron grip on it. <laughs> the board are totally against her, but everyone supported her and voted exactly how she wanted to because she's in control. Yes. You got Ryan hey. Johnson's trilogy. You think that's... Uh... What is Ryan Johnson doing these days? Licking his bean. Like, seriously, is he, has he done anything like... Uh, he's doing, um, uh, what's it called? The, uh, the really retarded detective stuff with, uh, Daniel Craig. What's it called? I forget. Also, Ryan Johnson's doing that. I, I haven't watched any of it. Knives Out. Knives Out, yeah. Oh, it mentions it here, yeah. Yeah. Man, it's your John's, John's too busy with Knives Out. So do yeah. you think, do you think his, tr they're giving this trilogy? Uh, no. Okay. So we, we're, we're down to first two. Okay. Not happening. Yeah. Uh, okay, apparently. No, move on. <laughs> Damn, not no. E.B. Weiss. Trilogy. No. So that's, no. that's not happening either. No. Okay. Uh, Kevin Feige. No, movie. even Kevin Feige said it's not happening. All right. So uh, we're uh, uh, the top four or five on this list, guys. Mm -hmm. And as ruling, not happening. Not uh, happening. Okay, I, this, all right, now we got Tiger. Mm. We at least got some confirmation with that. With, sure, right? yeah. With no, Tiger. not happening. <laughs> you, don't, you don't think that's happening either? No, never going to happen. <laughs> all right, we're like six in, five, six in. Mm. Tiger Watini's movie. Mm. Uh, not happening. That's it. It's not, it's not happening. Yeah. Uh, Patty Jenkins. No. No. <laughs> It's indefinitely shelved. Paddy Jenkins actually wants to make direct a movie. Kathleen Kennedy doesn't want her to do that. Eric, where's your chair? Oh, I love your chair. Nice chair. No, indefinitely uh, shelved. 
All right, so the first one's on this list. Um, mm. As a rule, it is not happening. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sean Levi's movie. Um, who the fuck is that? Not sure who that is. Uh, but let's read Variety yeah. Book News that Deadpool 3, the free guy director, uh, was preliminary, was in preliminary talks to direct Star Wars movie back in November. Mm. And the project was apparently still alive when Variety spoke to him in mm. October of mm-hmm. last year. Mm. Uh, so apparently Variety spoke to him and that was still mm. uh, gonna happen last wow. year mm-hmm. um, I think having yeah okay uh, I would say no not happening hold on hold on give me two seconds hello hi Kathy how you doing mm-hmm. uh, you'd like me to do a Star Wars film uh, we'll just say we're in talks, okay? I'm <laughs> never going to do it. Fuck off. <clears throat> I'm in talks to make a Star Wars film at Disney. <laughs> All right, As so, of this time, the so, project so, is still open. So Sean Levi's movie, what, what's the ruling? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we. I think we finally got to one that is that is happening. Mm-hmm. And that's Charlemagne. Uh, the God's uh, Rays movie. Uh, no, no. It, it, <laughs> wait a uh, haven't Disney just recently come out and said uh, we didn't actually sanction what she said? She she essentially created her own press saying that she was going to do one to sort of force their hand into making sure that she does one. I'm I'm pressing I'm still having an X to doubt on this. I mean, it's retarded enough that you want to bring back the woman, the character, because I'm sure Daisy Ridley, lovely woman. The character that destroyed Star Wars. You want to bring her back to what? Destroyer Rurra Star Wars? Star Wars Destroyer Rurra. How does that work? I'm pressing X to doubt. Now, so. show me a cat, and we're talking. Star Wars, Luke Skywalker finds a cat. No, not Luke. Obviously, that's fucking retarded. Princess Leia finds a cat. That film's getting made. The cat's a lesbian. <laughs> so you don't have much confidence. What it sounds like, it's X to doubt. May happen probably. X to doubt. It's yeah. It's, 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 yeah. Okay. From, from it's, uh, it's probably the most likely of any of them. Exit out. Okay. Mm. James Mangold's Dawn of the Jedi movie. Mm, uh, possible. Okay. Quite possible. possible. Second mo- uh, movie originally announced uh, Star Wars Celebration last year. Um. So, possible, possibly that Dawn of the, this Dawn of the Jedi movie is happening. If the second Batman movie does well, then no. <laughs> okay. Because because he'll actually want to have a career. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm guessing they're saying that Dave Filoni is doing... 100%. Dave That's Filoni it. will make a movie about something with his characters that he created. 100% cast iron. Okay. So this and it will one... flop. <laughs> so th- <laughs> so this one is the is the one that for sure is happening. Yeah. What it is, we'll see, but y- yeah, you think... because he's in charge. Okay. So he'll say, "Okay, I get to make I'm going to make a movie with with my characters so I get royalties from them." And they're going to be like great and stuff. <laughs> Good, good impersonation. That's not bad, actually. I'll work yeah. on it, but it's it's got there's something there. Yeah, oh. for sure. There's something there. No, Guillermo Tell- no, no. He's Jabra. too good. He he's Guillermo de Tero is way too good for fucking that shit. So, uh, yeah, you're you're going with this Job of the Hood movie by Toro. The Toro is not happening. No, 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 no. Okay. No, he's way too he's way too good. Ah, he'll be so. like, I've got this idea, 
and they'd be like, great. We want to stick a fucking girl in it and a child and uh, we want toy plushes here. And it'd be like, no, I, I want to make a film. And, they, and, and they'd be like, hmm, you need a bit of a studio interference there, Gleemo. No, never going to happen. Of course, lastly, which was announced not too long ago, is the Mandalorian and the Green Fucker. Um, I can only hope I've died of cancer by then. <laughs> My dying wish is I demise before this comes out. All right. We we had this conversation. That picture just gave me AIDS, by the way. You don't like the green fucker, man? Ah, uh, I I wanna fucking kill it. <laughs> I wanna I wanna pour petrol all over it and set it on fire. And then roast marshmallows on its fucking wiggling corpse. So we asked this question yesterday. Okay. Of all the Star Wars movies and shows and shit that are happening or not happening, mm. is this the one that has the potential to make money? Mm. No. The most potential to make money? I don't think so. I don't think there's uh Baby, it's over for Baby Yoda now. That that ship sailed. Okay, right? so you th you thinking that they caught their lightning in a bottle, and that that's gone. Yeah, yeah, that lightning in a bottle's gone. Uh, Baby Yoda merch is everywhere. Nobody's buying it anymore. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck about the green little ship. It's a one trick pony. It's a one trick pony, and they uh, it developed nowhere. The best thing they could have done was at the end of season two and and dump it off on on Luke Face Walker. And uh, and that was it. No. It, it, w what's he going to do? Legit, what's he going to do? Fucking struggle to use the Force and then fall asleep again? You know? It, no, there's, there's nothing. This character's got nothing. It isn't a character. The, the one to me that's got the most potential is Mangold's uh, Knights of the Old Republic okay. type, of, type of business. That, okay. that to me is the one that potentially could have something interesting about it if he's allowed to if there's a good script attached but right now i honestly eric don't think anyone gives a shit about star wars nobody gives a fuck it's glow sticks right do you know the next thing that's gonna happen we're gonna have i ain't fucking bullshitting it we're gonna have three fucking jedi not dark not dark side, Jedi. We're gonna have three fucking Jedi. And it's gonna be in in uh the Acolyte, right? It's gonna be in the Acolyte. And uh they're all gonna light their lightsabers at the same time, and it's gonna be magenta, white, pink. Oh, gonna, that sounds like oh a no-brainer. That's a transplant. <laughs> oh my god. Right, that sounds like a no-brainer. That's what's gonna happen. And then there's gonna be eight more to the other side. And they're all going to go at the same time. And it's just going to be a uh, fucking pride flag going through. Oh, that sounds like a no brainer. And then there's going to be a, a, a black female and she's going to walk between all of them straight into the <laughs> front. And then she's just going to go, she's going to ignite a lightsaber and she's going to stare the fucking dark Lord in the fucking face. She's going to go. I'm a gay black woman of color Jedi. And I'm here to cut you down. <laughs> You MAGA fuck. And that's Star Wars. So, oh man, this this company is. Uh, I'll, uh, we're gonna I'll... we're gonna go to Saudi Arabia after this and <laughs> march for the gay people and the AIDS stigma too. Um, so, yeah. where does a fuck? Okay, what is the fucking? All right, so we this year from Star Wars we got. The acolyte. Uh, what what the fuck is the premise? Like you explain that to me. Do you know? Of yeah, the fucking... uh, gay women in space. What... <laughs> <laughs> Leslie Headland uh, feeds women to Harvey Weinstein to rape. That's the premise of the acolyte. 
and then writes a play about it and gets promoted to Disney to do Star Wars. I think that's I think that's the uh, the plot of the acolyte. That's um believable. Uh, mm. I just don't. I don't know if you've checked yet. And it's probably a question for our guys that cover a lot of the the business stuff with Disney. We know that they every quarter have been losing a billion, at least or roughly on Disney and, uh, Plus. On Disney Plus, yeah. Is that still the case? Uh, the last time, yeah, it was, it was a, they said, haven't they reported losses of somewhere with the whole totality of like six billion, four to six billion or something? Losses on Disney Plus sounds like a winner to me. Yeah, man, it sounds like they're knocking out. You, the know, what, you know what the budget was for She Hulk? It's over 200 million, right? 225 million. That's, um, that's amazing to me. That that really is. Like, how does one and you know, just to cover this real quick for people that have not uh yet seen it, I'm gonna show this real quick, but you know, it's reports going around that she's doubtful because and I know she said on a recent show Sweet, oh, I could have told you that the moment the first trailer came out <laughs> that they blew the budget. And uh, they don't think that it's uh, that it's going to be a possible renewal for this. I, I just when, when she says blow the budget, she means squandered the budget. So that budget was never meant for anything but season one. Obviously, I think she's referring to the fact that they took two hundred and twenty-five million dollars and made a, a six-episode or eight-episode series. About an alcoholic whore. And they spent $200 million on it. And it's like, okay. Um, I'm not going to pretend like I know everything with the ins and outs of CGI and all this shit, right? I'm not going to pretend that. But I get the feeling, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is my ignorance speaking. I get the feeling that it doesn't actually cost two hundred million dollars to produce this. One of I the episodes the is literally her sat in a therapy session for pretty much ninety percent of the episode. So yeah, I get the feeling that. Look, man, I I don't know. I, I can't sit up here and act like I I know the ins and outs, but. When I'm looking at the budgets that they are spending on these shows as well as these movies, what else am I supp how are we supposed to make sense of it? And maybe it's just our ignorance we don't understand and we're not supposed to make sense of it. No. But, like it's not it's not our ignorance. It's definitely not our ignorance. It's it's there's there's shenanigans going on. Th that's what I <laughs> You know, you, you hate to the default there, but from what we see, shenanigans is what it looks like. Funny money. How'd you make the Joker Joker for 50 million? And that was what, 2019, right? So we're not talking huge amounts of difference here. How'd you make that for 50 million? And and She Hulk is 225. I know it's a TV series. But we're not talking elaborate sets. We're definitely not talking elaborate CGI. It's fucking dog shit. You can see the fucking image right there. That's that's as good as it got, folks. You can't say it went on top-notch writing. I could have pissed on a, a piece of paper, and that would be a better script. Yeah, wankers like fucking Dana believe in the Schwartz writing this shite. She was just drunk and fucking all the time. That's all she did. Uh, while being absolutely incompetent at a job, there was nothing elaborate. There was nothing interesting, deep, well-made, well-produced, well-thought, well-shot, nothing, well-edited, nothing. that you could say, well, I can see where the money went. 
this yeah. is a really tight script. This is really good editing. This is really good cinematography. It's like a basic bitch TV show on basic bitch sets. Shenanigans. I want to yeah. see the break. Show me where the money went. Show me where the money went. Yeah, I, I just don't see it. Um, and how much did how much did Godzilla cost? Uh, twelve million dollars. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Twelve million. Unbelievable script. Unbelievably uh, great characters, beautifully shot, excellent CGI for Godzilla, great editing, great score as well, by the way. 12 million. <laughs> make it make sense. I, I had how do how do you look at this in comparison and say okay there's not some funny money going on look and maybe the funny money is middle folk people got to take money off the top uh crowded writing rooms uh paying for lunches and bullshit and <clears throat> that Maybe they're overspending on, but I need people to understand, conceptualize how much money two hundred million dollars is. That's a lot of fucking money. It's a lot of money. That is a lot of money, and for them to spend that, obviously, it's it, they basically threw it in a black hole. That is Disney Plus because they're not making money off their off that in the general. So literally, I mean, you can make the argument that everything that they put on Disney Plus is losing money. Well, it is. Because Quite Disney literally. Plus is losing money. Because Disney Plus is losing money. So, so it's a whole. Every every yeah. outlay investment of a TV show is another loss because yeah. it's not making money back. Facts. They're not it, it, nothing is being brought in to get the subscriber base pay, paying uh to put them in the in the green, right? So it's everything that they put on that is a is a is a black hole until something comes out, which probably will be never that gets enough subs for them to get into green um, or a couple of films or a couple of uh, shows until then everything that they, they might as well have a fucking bonfire with the $200 million and light the motherfucker on fire. It's the same thing. It's, it, it's the same fucking thing. It probably be, probably be more, uh entertaining if if it was an actual money pit of 200 million dollars in cash on i know fire. nothing nothing about filmmaking <laughs> zero my experience in film is watching it on a tv or at the cinema if you gave me 200 million i could almost guarantee you i would be able to craft a better tv show through incompetence through exploitation i mean me being exploited by people i would still be able to probably guarantee you cast iron i could produce a better tv show than than what that shit was shenanigans could be could be taxes could be all kinds of shenanigans going on here we need to report this so we, we can get it knocked off tax. You know, blah, blah. Whatever it is. Whatever it is that they're doing. 225 million. Fuck off. Get that. Show me. Show me where the money went. Because uh, I couldn't even believe you went, well, 150 million went into the CGI. Nah, fuck off, mate. <laughs> I could have just... Give me a fucking green crayon. I could have done better than that. Oh, my God. Be on Boris effects and shit. I, I for sure could have, could have. Uh, I, I, I don't get. It. I never. 
if people remember my old videos, I remember talking. I didn't like the idea of having a CGI She Hulk anyway because it's she, uh, it, you know, it, it made no sense to me. I was like, there has to be, even if you're saying that Tatiana is going to be transforming into this character, you could have got like a big bodybuilder chick, uh, um, to do it or or something or taller and that's the thing she's not like hulk right that's the point she hulk has a more realistic figure uh than what what hulk is where he's abnormally just just big so they that that was a waste um it, it made no sense for them to go that route anyway they could have just got some beautiful taller woman and and painted her ass green and they would have been they would have been fine with it uh, but they just, didn't want to go that route. over just dumped over with uh, tatiana's yeah voice. If they really want to do, do that they that that, that would have been a very that would have been more realistic and that would have been easier uh for them to do and it probably would have been a lot cheaper but in the same respects to your point saying 150 million dollars went into just cgiing her i don't know how anybody that's part of the production teams that are green lighting this shit are like yeah that that's the money they see 150 that like because generally speaking how this how this stuff happens is you're getting a lot of this stuff budgeted out beforehand before the production actually starts and sometimes it's up it'll go up and down but generally speaking you're going to have a ballpark uh yeah. and, and your yeah. producers are going to come up with um um what that number what that number is and where it's going i don't see how someone looks at that shit and says that that as well, soon as they get the pdl file and they're like yeah uh for 150 million for cgi I don't see how anybody competent that green lights that says. I would yeah. say, uh, what's your refund policy? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just you know, I'm just throwing figures out there as as a, as a as a way to try and justify the money. I don't know how much the CGI cost. I don't know how much they 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 say the sets cost, the actors cost, the directors cost, the the, the fucking craft table coughed i don't know 200 never mind 200 eric add another two twenty five million. yeah it's more than 200 you know it's more it was more than 200 and you're like you even say this deserves a 25 million dollar budget for the yeah, show i could see that yeah especially show me where that money especially went especially with us having an example of and i don't know if it's a western versus eastern thing and how they're far more efficient and and uh, and that's just kind of how they are. But if something is heavily CGI'd as as Godzilla is, as far as Godzilla, you know itself, and they only spent twelve fifteen million dollars on it, that that would be what I'm looking at. If I'm I'm like, all right, well, explain this to me. I I need the the, the people that have come to me. If I'm the if I'm the executive producer, if the other producers have come to me. And they have given me this these these line items. I need them to justify that shit with me. I'm gonna be like, hey, okay, we just had a uh, there's a movie. There's movies that have been crafted for half the price. They have everything CGI. Because what in okay, so everything about um, it was uh, 3D was uh, Mar Mario, right? Mm -hmm. The whole entire fucking movie, right? Yeah. Okay, and. How much did that cost? Like a hundred and something million dollars? Uh, Mario cost uh, around a hundred million. Okay. Make. So made over that, 1.4 billion, I think. See, that's what I'm thinking when I, when these, when this shit crosses my table, I'm like, how the fuck did they do that for this amount? And yeah, there's differences. Okay. But I need those differences explained to me. How the fuck did they do it for this amount? And we only have one chick doing this entire shit. That is, uh, that is uh cgi yes there's going to be maybe some uh some effects on some of the stuff it is that she's doing if she's blowing shit up or whatever it is uh that that she's doing but a lot of that is practical anyway so or should be so i'm trying to have i need that explained to me what the fuck is the how are they doing it for this amount but it costs us this amount somebody's being fleeced if you cared about money that is at least that's how i would think about it. if i cared about the money I'm like, somebody's getting fucking shafted. And it ain't going to be fucking me. So I need you to fucking explain this to me and justify this. And if you can't, we're not spending 150 fucking million on CGI for this goddamn show. We're not. 
You you got to justify it. And I, maybe that's what's not happening because they, they were riding on his high and they thought that, well, just because we produce some shit, people are going to eat it. Well, this is the problem with streaming versus network television. When it when it's when it's streaming, you, you, again, we're going to use that word accountability. You can be as as reckless as you want. You don't have to be accountable because it's going on your service. It, to you, you're just dumping content. But when it goes on uh, terrestrial television, when it goes on cable, whatever, you got to get you got to justify the views. You got to get the views. So that the advertisers advertise that so that your show can be popular. But but without that audience, it goes it goes into the shitter. On 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 a streaming service, you need content. We don't care about an audience, we need just need content. We need content to justify the subscription fee. People aren't subscribing, so we've got to put more content on to try and get people to subscribe. So we dump more shit on there. It's a it's a it's a perpetuating fail system. What it, what you you're losing billions? Well, you, we also know that you're moving money, but you're losing billions on this. You're reporting the loss of billions on this. Get out of the fucking business. Put it down. License your stuff out and start making some money again. That that seems to be the rational position, because you guys can't do it, and. You're hurting yourself by continuously spending money on things that you can't make money off of. Um, there's no return. Like I said, everything that they are putting on Disney Plus, if you're looking at it in its totality, is losing money because the the entire <laughs> which is kind of hard to conceptualize, right? It's hard to think about that because you know, chat, consider that, right. We know that the entire bitch is, is losing money. So think about that. Every production it is that they are coming out with is a loss. Everyone. Because they're not making money on the platform that they're putting the shit on. So there's no return. It doesn't matter. And even no matter how far down the road, right? We got Acolyte coming up. Acolyte is not going to make Disney Plus money. <laughs> so everything that they spent on it is a loss. Everything. Let, let me put it this way, Eric. My, uh, uh, my retarded uh, niece opens up a shop, right? And, uh, and I go to see her in a year's time. And I say, hey, retarded niece, how you doing? And she goes, mm, licking windows. How's business? Um, I'm, I am $4 billion in debt. Why is the shop still open? Oh, cause you, you've got money. That's the only reason why the shop's open. That is, that is as simple as I can put it. Oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> the only reason why it's there is because daddy's rich. Uncle's rich. Sugar daddy's rich. Whatever you want, however you want to put it. That's the only reason it exists. Daddy's rich. Daddy pays for it. Oh man, that's uh, oh, it's unbelievable, man. Especially as, since I started a Riververse and I realized how far or how not far money goes, depending on how you spend it. And to just, I just can't imagine being an executive of a company like this, and 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 something being so not profitable. And then there doesn't seem to be unless maybe I don't see it. It's behind the scenes, but I don't get the feeling that there's an adjustment. I yeah, we'll hear Bob, Bob Iger maybe to try to appease a shareholder or to say something, but I'm not seeing an adjustment, or I don't feel it, where people are like, 
that are within the company internal are like, yeah, we got to change some shit up. This isn't this whole shit ain't working. We are throwing money at the wall and it ain't sticking. That's for fucking sure. We're throwing money at a fire pit and it's and that's essentially what's happening. It is mm. a, it is going away. It's not we're not profitable. Nothing we do. Everything that they produce, acolyte. I don't know what other non if it's some Pixar shit or whatever. I don't know what other non Star Wars or Marvel related. Oh thank God, I thought we were gonna go say binary for a second. Oh man. Um speaking of binary, how's that go? If a show with a deaf person falls in a field, does anyone really hear it? I'm not sure. It's a good question. Uh, nobody's talking about it. It's done. Yeah, Marvel's fucking. Uh, what's deader? What, what what's more dead? Deader is not a word. Maybe it is. Mm. Hey, deader. I like mm. that. Deader. Right, right. Deader. What's deader? Mm. Marvel or Star Wars? Or is yes. it like it? The answer to that question is yes. I'll accept that. The, the answer is yes. That is correct. Mm. This year we have, well, Echo just came out. Nobody's talking about it. And uh, it has not made Disney Plus profitable, uh, to my knowledge. Uh, <laughs> no. We've got Acolyte sometime this year. And apparently it's about space lesbians. Yeah, uh, well, that's a bit cruel. Space lesbians with lightsabers. Oh, it's, it's space lesbians with lightsabers. Yeah. Who are okay. going to march down the main street of Riyadh? <laughs> stunning and brave. <laughs> Very isn't, stunning isn't and brave. It always, brave. Isn't it always? So that's the two that we got in terms of releases, right? Um, is Black Captain Falcon America. Uh, no, they're remaking the film. Okay, the entire bitch is going to be probably yeah. remade. So that's probably a 2026, I reckon, yeah, by now. They reckon 2025, not a chance in hell. <laughs> not, not, not happening. No. So so from Star Wars and, and Marvel, we got Ac this year. Mm. Is that it? Acolyte and... Acolyte. And we, we just got mm. Echo. Uh, maybe H Agatha Harkness later in the year. Ah, uh, Marvel. Okay, but well, Star it was, Wars. It was Agatha all along, Eric. Yeah, it was. I'm mm. sure that that's going to be a massive hit. Um, oh, I... see. This is the part that don't get me. Like, you see this, and we see these numbers, and I think there may be one profitable streaming service. Netflix. Netflix. That's it, right? Um, and it was so hilarious during the whole, I guess, strikes, you call them, um, where people was having a discuss discussion about residual, which residual, excuse me. And I, I felt like I was the crazy man in the room because I would talk about that. I'm like residuals for fucking for what? what? You think this shit's going to get fucking syndicated? Who the fuck's going to buy it? Disney are buying their own fucking products to license it on their own fucking product. Nice little <laughs> fucking scam there to try and boost your numbers up. Like for what? Like I would have gone, oh yeah, you can have all the fucking residuals you want, mate. <laughs> I tell you what, don't even take a wage. We'll give you a billion gazillion percent residuals. Oh, okay. You're one season and fucking out of there. <laughs> Ain't no residuals, man. Fucking no money's coming in for you. <laughs> Ain't no residuals. Stupid man. idiot. There's no, there's no money. Fuck, look at this retard. Bring in the next retard. <laughs> Here's my proposal. I've listened to you. No money up front. One gazillion bajillion percent on residuals. I'll take it. As soon as we make money, you make all the money. All the money. You take it all. You get 1,000 gazillion percent of all the profits made. And it's not making money. They they are in a... It's... 
Bring in oh. the next fucking idiot. It, it, it was so fucking retarded. It, they, they had no chance. Like, you... Money on the back end, obviously, of anything. The point is to make money, right? So whether it be like a royalty setup, um, it doesn't matter what it is. Comic book, music, like that. You're not that shit. Don't kick in until the money's been made back, right? Mm -hmm. um, they are in a situation where the money's not being made back. In fact, the the money's being lost. <laughs> so people are creating things and they are coming out in the negative. So meaning I spent this money and yeah, I might've spent $200 million, but effectively I've lost uh, maybe even more if they sunk it into marketing or some shit uh, as well. So I, I, I paid for two, I paid you $200 million. We had to reach in our debt um, mm -hmm. and, and then spend another hundred million dollars. And that's gone too, because we haven't, we haven't made shit. Right. What's the residuals from that? Using that, using that logic, okay, how do they make the money back? They make the money back through subscription to the streaming service, right? There's no yeah. adverts on there. How many subscribers did Disney Plus get for She-Hulk? Probably lost. 225 millions worth? It's making a loss. So what money did you make? You're losing subscribers. So if you're losing subscribers, you're not gaining subscribers. That's no, a $225 million loss. <laughs> basic, basic mathematics. But they but they want the residuals, man. They want the, half they want them. the residuals. All of them. Yeah, half all. all of them. I tell you what, I'm gonna get Tim Sheridan. <laughs> <laughs> to chip in with the fucking royalties he makes on Alan Scott sucks a dick of J. Edgar Hoover book. All yours. And then I will personally ring up Elton John and tell him to stop stigmatizing AIDS. <laughs> all yours. Have it all. Every penny. Every cent. Every bit of cat litter. All yours. The whole shit, man. Yeah. Take it. Remarkable. I, I like, agree with you. <laughs> I, I agree. You should get residuals, man. I, I agree. Oh, man. But we're not going to make a fucking dime off of any of this shit, and we're going to keep doing it. I don't know. I don't know if you kept up with, like, their investor calls or anything with Disney. You know, I watch WDW Pro and all those guys talk about that stuff, Valent Renegade, all that. And I'm no, very, I'd, I'd rather cut my own clitoris off. It's boring for sure. Uh, and it's 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 nerd shit, but it's not even nerd shit because it's basically you're not gonna get any like nugget out of it. Um, maybe a shareholder gets pissed off or something, but you're not gonna get any like hey, we're gonna change course. We get it, we have heard you, and we are canceling Acolyte. <laughs> And um, we're never going to put it out. We are working towards uh, building a new Star Wars film that uh, people actually want to fucking go watch. Nobody or, wants to watch the Star Wars film. <laughs> that's the thing. You can I don't put know. Luke Skywalker riding on a fucking Rancor monster with fucking Han Solo, fucking Princess Slayer in the ass. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody gives a shit. They have killed every bit of interest in everything. Because people just expect now they're back to square one. You want to make a film that people are interested in? You've got to do the donkey work and get that trust back. And that's hard. And that's man. going to take it's easier to gain years, if not it, decades, to do. It's easier to gain trust from a new product than to lose it and then try to get it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a very difficult thing because people have already been burned and then they checked out. Getting them back. Is going to be a tall order. And I'm going to be honest, I don't know the answer. I don't know. Uh, maybe apologize. That's a good way to well, start. Okay, I'll tell you what. Hey, you know what? We're sorry that we called you a bunch of fucking Nazis <laughs> and sexists and homophobes and bigots and racists and all this. Maybe start there. Maybe start help. there. That would help. If they, yeah, obviously. I mean, 
if they did something like it would have to be something that drastic. It would have to be admitting fault. Um, saying you fucked up, mm-hmm. not just saying it generically, probably saying, hey, we should not have let Gina Carano go. That was fucking stupid of us. Uh, we fucked up. We were wrong and we were incorrect. Um, you don't even have to do that. You could just come out and say, we are very disappointed in ourselves in the direction that we took Star Wars. We don't think that it was correct and loyal to the audience. And we want to correct this mistake that we've made. We are working uh, diligently now to streamline the films that we're putting out and to make sure that they are of the quality that you as a customer, a paying customer, deserve. And he's still going to only get a fraction, a fraction of people back by eating that humble pie. And then I, I think you also have to add to it the, the ownership and the creative element of it. I yeah. think that, I, I do think that they would need a, a dramatic shakeup. It would have to be something like, Disney sold Star Wars to somebody that cared about it, and the and uh, the entire staff has been fired. <laughs> I I would say I would I would even go so far as to say we have actually invented a time machine, <laughs> and we have brought uh, Matilda May from Life Force back from the eighties. Simply to come out here and show her your tits. Show you you her tits, even. You don't have to show her your tits. And then Matilda May from the 80s just comes walking out the time machine and just goes like that. And then put and then goes goes back in the time machine and then go goes gets that back to Canon Films. Basically, what we're saying is a fucking pipe dream. Yeah, plus we have, we have gone into the time machine and got Scarlett Johansson out from 2010, and uh, she's prepared uh, to sleep with everybody as a sorry <laughs> for uh, for what we did. And she comes out. She's like, I I actually really did not agree to this at all. And then you go, eh? Can somebody get Matilda May back? It's a pipe dream. Yeah, it's not happening. Is what it is. They've ruined yeah. their brands. They uh, there's no there's no turning. There's no there's no turning. We've gone around. back in time and got Harrison Ford from 1984, and we are going to make a brand new Indiana Jones movie with him, and then ship him back to his proper timeline. Please don't tell him what we did. With the last two movies. <laughs> I can't imagine being in that position. I can't imagine being an executive under all these properties and just having damaged brand after brand after brand to where you lose the most money of all uh, of everybody. <clears throat> uh, in terms of 2023, you had a terrible year. You had a terrible... And, and like, it's one thing to have a down year. It's another thing... For there to be no recovery in sight, like well, it, 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 shit, shit happens, right? It, 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 you can say that, all right, well, sometimes shit happens, but it's another to be like, what the? Where do we go from from here? We just had a fucking terrible year. Okay, what the fuck can That's we their do? Problem? That's not my problem. Oh, hundred percent. Shit, lay my fucking problem. Do what you fucking want. I don't give a fuck. I'm making a fortune here. It's great. I'm buying fucking toys and shit. I'm buying Primo toilet paper now. The velvety stuff, you know? Um, Three-layered velvety stuff. I can respect that. Yeah. I can respect that. Keep fucking doing it. Working out great. For me. Yeah, chat. Uh, you got Acolyte to look for. Somebody brought up in the chat the Deadpool. We forgot about that. Deadpool. Uh, I think I think I I don't think Deadpool's gonna do as great as some people think it is. <clears throat> mm. 
I think I think um I think if it does somewhere six six hundred, I think that would be a really good score for it. Um but with Ryan Reynolds being a little bit neutered in this one. Oh I I I don't know. It's all, and it's even hard. if it does well, it's going to be an anomaly because that's not going to be the tone of the other films. Yeah, it's... I'm half expecting, though, at one point, Deadpool to say that he's an ally. Oh, uh, yeah, they'll have him say something, something bullshitty. Yeah, I, I don't... It's not going to make, like, a billion dollars. I can't see it. Oh, I can't man. see that at all. Like it when, the, have... when the Batman does 775... Yeah, Deadpool doesn't got a fucking chance in hell, man. It, 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 I, well, let's just say this: I'd be extremely surprised if that movie did hit seven, eight, nine billion dollars, uh, the million to a billion dollars. It would. It would have to be very special. Yeah, it would it, have even, to be. Even Guardian started off weak, but people liked it, and it got. Well, it had would have to happen first and foremost. Um, it would have to be a word of mouth situation. It would have to be. Everybody that saw this movie thought it was the fucking greatest movie of the last ten years, and all we and, and we've had two, and we, you know, and none of them have been that. None, back, of them, right? none of them have been that. Um, they're not even that type of movie. So, I don't think it'll lose much. I don't. How much did, do we know the budget on that? If there's been one reported. Uh, somewhere in the re... Ooh. It's going to be tough. It's, uh... No, there's speculation, but it's no... No official budget we've got yet. Yeah. Okay. Well, that'll yeah. be... That'll be a big part of it, for sure. Um... I would expect at least 150. Okay. Because yeah, at once least. it starts crawling in that 200 billion 200 million dollar range, which is what they've been spending. If it starts crawling up there, then it's putting itself in an impossible. That's that's 700 to break even. It, yeah. It's, it's, it's nonsensical. Itself, it puts itself in a in a tough spot, man. Um and I don't know. Uh like it it is going to have to be one of those where they're aiming to 5 to 7 and 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 in order for them to do that, they they can't be spending two hundred million dollars on this film. At least it's not as tough a spot as Alan Scott was in with J. Edgar Hoover, because he was he's going to out him as gay if he doesn't do what he says. What it, it, what year is it, Eric? Fucking who the fuck knows, man? <laughs> Current man. It was whatever year that apparently it wasn't a truck stop gay shit uh, in the book, and it was that was just normal for the time period. So whatever time period that was, where you got gay shit going on in trucks between trucks is twenty twenty four. Then, yeah, that's current year. That's pretty current year. But it just, I guess, it just means something differently back then than it did now. I think I think Deadpool will do five five fifty. That's my guess. Okay, if it does five five fifty, in order for it to have to be successful, they could have not spent two hundred million dollars. No, if I mean even at one fifty, let's say the budget's one fifty. That's just guessing. Let's say it's one fifty. Got to hit probably in the region of four hundred to break even. Somewhere in that region. So 500, they'd make 100 profit. 550, 150 million profit. But if we're looking 250, look at 700 to break even. And that's that's going to be tough, man. They're going to have to knock it out with the, with the story and everything if they did that. Otherwise, it's just not happening. That's another loss. <laughs> Maybe not as much as the others. It won't be a half a half a billion lost damn near like uh the Marvels, which if it, I don't think it's gonna be disaster. 
I hope it's not going to be a disaster. But I, I, I do, I do think there is. I do think there's just a don't give a fuck anymore. I do think there is a fatigue. I think that I think that's real. Sure, the shit movie fatigue. But I do think there's a super. I think when people think superhero movies now, they just think, oh, it's going to be another one of those fucking dog shit Marvel shits now. The Marvels, Eric, didn't even hit 200 million worldwide. It got adjusted down again. <laughs> that movie lost almost, uh, almost half a, not million guys, billion, billion dollars. Yeah. Oh, well. I just can't imagine. As, as, as Bree would go, I don't know. Does anyone want me? Yeah. Apparently not. Uh, apparently they do not. Crazy eyed fucker. Oh my god, that is um, that is disastrous. That that is fucking disastrous, man. And um, they did it to themselves. Uh, so uh, you got a long road ahead of you, Disney, Lucasfilm, and all you other um, or Disney's Lu Disney and Lucasfilm and Marvel and Bell Pixar isn't seeming to do well these days. Huh? How the fuck do you have these brands under you and fuck it up that bad to where nobody Ideology. wants to even touch your shit, man? That, that is so impressive. Intersectionality is a huge part of it. Yeah. Huge part of it. The moment we moved away from equality, nothing wrong with equality in my eyes whatsoever. The moment we move from equality to equity, you fucked everything. Because then it became about revenge. Oh. Then it became about all the discriminatory things that you profess to fight against. And that's where we are. We have a film coming out, Eric. You may have said the title yourself for us to clip at our leisure. Could the American society of magical negroes which takes a trope and turns it into racism we are not progressing eric we're regressing big time and when you regress at this rate of knots the pendulum swings and when the pendulum swings in the other direction you have the same problem from the other side of the coin. That's where we are. Because dumb people never learn from history. Because yeah. they're dumb. Yeah. What, what jackasses. It's impressive nonetheless. Hey guys, oh, it's, I appreciate it. Massively impressive. Yeah. I mean, to, to, to do with it. I don't think I could be that incompetent in my whole life. Not if I tried. Not even if I tried. Um, we're two and a half hours in the show, and we probably should start reading Super Chess. Um, Maybe. Just possibly. Uh, that may not be a terrible idea. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm going to go through these. Uh, we have Josh. With a 20, no message. And then Defendo 99 is Psycho Hunter, son of a bitch, with a $100 right after Josh. And it's also no message. So two cocky motherfuckers dropping $120. That ain't cheap. 120 buckaroos between Defendo 99 and Josh. No message on either of those. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. My man's Bruce says with a 10, time to refuse to even play the game with drama formers. They're wasting your time, and the Riververse has a lot of winning to come in 2024. That's what we do, Bruce. That's exactly what we do. Uh, David with a five says, my eldest daughter is ready for Yaira. Uh, says Yaira reminds her of the Mandalorian, a great character, and she thinks it's cool. She wants her own copy. Well, it's going to uh, see the quarter and get a chat. <laughs> I love it. He said, he's joking. He said, debate me, Eric. Debate me. Give me your time. You owe it to me. Sorry, uh, Jeremy. So good. 
Sorry. <laughs> shout out, shout out to Quarter in the chat. <laughs> Speak to Mike Glum, get a documentary made on you. <clears throat> Oh man, uh, our brow, which would a would a five says, uh, they don't they don't want to ask uh, those questions about Gina. That's why Gina wins. She, she, yeah, that's disingenuous. Disingenuous. Yeah, true. Uh, we got a twenty five from Pop says, Eric, I stopped reading comics because I got busy with college and grad school. Uh, when I could finally get back to them, I found out they just made Iceman as gay as ass was OP. <laughs> Great job on getting healthy, he says. So I checked out. Thanks, Pops. Uh, yeah, it's uh, that was yeah. I mean, that was about around around the same time. Well, I was I was long out of college by the end. Um, but I had the capital right to to buy really whatever the fuck I wanted for uh, during that time. And yeah, that was all new, all different Marvel. All new, all queer. <laughs> and uh, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? And it was a, it was quite the phenomena going into the twenty twenties to see DC be like, hmm. Can we copy your homework? <laughs> you know that thing that y'all did that didn't work. And really, just signify the, the the decline. Why don't we do that shit too? And we'll call I mean, it future he state. Could, he could kill our own company. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Oh, but yeah, that was a that was a that was a bad time, pops. It was a it was a rough time to be a. Uh, at least a fan of Marvel during that during that era. That was um It was the fuckiest of times. It was the find outiest of times. <laughs> Episode eight was the best one. Please do another big set. I haven't kept up uh my demo homework on Mags uh this week. My apologies. Uh I, I haven't seen anything. Um, but I'm pretty sure by the time next week we will she will gift us something. Uh and uh we will have another episode of the big seg. Uh, and maybe it's not Max, but it'll probably be Max. Because Only a matter of time. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's that's that's what definitely it's... sooner rather than later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he continues on. Pop says, "Found you your unpaid shield, Gary and <laughs> G and G uh, last year." Says Red Ice. I wanted to an Alpha Core over Christmas. Absolutely love them. Shout out. Appreciate you. Uh, I now take it for uh real that's the only way I read anything right uh i now checked into the riververse i'm now checked into the riververse and can't wait for all the comics you're going to create that's 50 dollars from pops look man we got a lot of guys that have a similar story once checked out of comics riververse is their new sta- new sandbox so i appreciate you so much i appreciate all y'all that are showing a lot of love we're, we're so thankful for, for you guys. So we, we appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Media man power with a five says hello again as Eric, keep hiring writers like Dixon and the sisters uh, and the river versus set for greatness. You got it. You got it. And they're going to be doing lots of work for us. Media man power with a five. We also have Melanie with a hundred. <laughs> Says hell ass, hell ripper, hell Gina, and hell indie comics. That ain't cheap. No, she dropped a hundred in my stream last night. God bless her. Oh wow! So she's rolling in dough, is what I'm what I'm hearing, and I respect that. <laughs> uh, I, I really Just, do. Uh, she's hers given us two hundred pounds. That has made her more profit than the Marvel. <laughs> Very true. Sustained way less losses. Yes, that's very true. Um, shout out, Melanie. Uh, you, yeah, you, you. Let's say this: you're closer to getting residuals uh, than than uh, basically <laughs> all of Hollywood uh, right now. So, thank you so much, Melanie, for for showing that love. That ain't cheap. <laughs> that ain't cheap. Uh, all right, we got CJ with a T and says. 
when I met Gina, she was the nicest person to everyone of all backgrounds. But then again, you were cool uh, to all of your fans, too, at cons. And look how they talk about you. That's true. Um, like I said, I mean, online, she is. She deals with it. I deal with it, especially uh, treated like I'm this vile, evil, sinister, dastardly son of a bitch. And uh, everybody that's met me in person has uh, never, never had anything bad to say about me. Um, or, or, or I, I treat everybody with, you know, dignity, um, you know, re reciprocate on the respect. And I'm highly appreciative of those that, that support me, right? Um, highly appreciative. But, yeah, it's not going to gonna stop. That's why I said, you know, I'm Than if, if I'm dark side, she's Thanos. It's kind of how it works. Where no matter what, you can be the nicest person in the world, show all the love in the world. These guys, we talked about it earlier in the show, they have made their minds up on who they need you to be. And there's no deviating from that. No amount of truth, no amount of fact, factual information. They need something to be true about you, and that's just what it's going to be. Well, it's not even worth trying to convince them. Uh, you just keep living, be great, and um, show love to those that show love to you. Uh, mark of reality. Remember, uh, for months, let's get rid of social media uh, so people can uh, get information from BBC, <laughs> CNN, uh, 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 FNC, Controlled Opposition, PBS, NBR. Great idea. Well, no, the, the, the point isn't it, it, the point that, that he was talking about wasn't about getting information. It was more of of um, like get acclimated to the real fucking world. Yeah touch grass in the quite literal sense um because if you get rid of social media you, you want to get rid of 24-hour news that's yeah. what you that's, that's also part, what you that, need to get rid of much. all these fucking companies are now social media sites like it's it's, it's just well let's say this they've the, media, their, the media companies now yeah they, they've geared their their news around this uh, the sensationalism of social media mm -hmm. that's all it is what we're suggesting is Get Don't outside. Get, yeah. Like get some fresh air. Please. Form some proper relationships with human beings. Formulate some opinions of your have own. Some, have some losses. Have yeah. some successes. Yeah. Understand what life is. Social media sure as hell ain't it. Yeah. It ain't. It ain't that's for fucking sure. Mr. Hat, what's up? Says uh, uh, with a ten. Says, "What's up, brother? I'm glad you're uh, going through the storm and stride." As good to see you. But there's no question. storm. It's sunshine. Uh, uh, all day long, baby. All day long. But serious question, Eric. Why'd you get Gina fired? Yeah, I'm, I am responsible <laughs> for everything. Uh, nah, can't wait to talk to you with you at MegaCon. I will be at MegaCon, Mr. Hat. We, the whole entire team, will. So come show some love. And uh, yes, everything is uh, my fault. Uh, Draco with the two says comic pros have been acting like uh, leftist uh, cancel pigs. Uh, yeah, no change there, man. Yeah, not at all. Uh, is that to bring me to a rising uh, uh, profile picture? I don't, I don't remember. I feel like they had a had an album that looked like that. I could be. Uh, tripping uh malty maldi with a uh was a member for two months says as is the uh oh malty maldi said in the chat it is shout out then uh, -huh. up. uh as is i can't remember which album that uh that was but you know i i knew that as soon as i saw it i was like yeah that's that's fucking let's bring me to rise uh as is uh one and i'm here for it he's, he's on, on one he's on yeah. one gotcha yeah 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 <clears throat> suicide season gotcha 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 yeah yeah such a recognizable um album cover so <clears throat> um okay okay we have a great u.s treasure hunt with a five says if we don't see as a star wars theme clipped forever there is no force star wars nothing but star wars fucking star wars it's fucking shit <laughs> that was good. Our browser to five says, like the die officer at Facebook. 
they are pocketing that money. She was quite literally pocketing the money. Yes. Uh, Million, <laughs> millions. Yeah, by the millions. Uh, the results doesn't match the budget. Yeah, she was, uh, it may be some, uh, uh, some die shit going on because uh, there was some laundering, that's for sure, or some fraud. Uh, let's just say she was taking company cards and she was uh, living luxurious. <laughs> Uh, living the life. Uh, but to be fair, that's what you do with die and diversity and black lives and mansions. And who who was the um who was the woman that came out a couple of days ago and said uh caught fingers in the till business? And she came out, she said something like, Well, you can't you can't expect black women to be perfect or something, or you can't you could some absolutely fucking retarded. Let's try and turn this into a race thing bullshit. No accountability, man. None. None. No, you're just a thief. Yeah. You're just a thief. Piece of shit thief. That's yeah. it. Yeah. There's nothing more to it. Yeah. Jeez, fuck it. It's like rich people. Rich people don't steal, they embezzle because stealing's like a poopy word. Yeah. yeah. So they, they embezzle. No, you're a thief. Yeah. You're just a thief. Uh, v more with a two says. <laughs> What could Ripper first studios do with a two hundred million dollars? Oh shit! I could, I probably could with two hundred million dollars. I could come up with with entire full seasons of several, probably every property. I have an Alpha Core uh, animated series, I saw the animated series, fucking Yara the animated series, Gooding the animated. Series. I could probably do all of that shit, um, uh, and and have a a nice season full, chock full of it. And and still have some a bunch of money left over with two hundred fucking million dollars. Fuck, well, like I see these people piss that money away, and I'm like, man, if only you fucking knew. Uh, Laura Botha with a five says, "There's a reason restaurants who fail uh, health inspections typically fail soon after." Hmm. Um, Uncle Grandpa Swag with a five. Do you think people complaining about hairstyles is woke, specifically black hairstyles? I've seen it all over Twitter. Um, I, I don't, I'm not sure what the context, <laughs> um, of that one is about the complaining of. I am the last person that you want to talk to about hairstyles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure the. I'm not sure. I'm a big I'm fan sure. of the buzz cut. Yeah, seems pretty popular. Uh, Jay Berg uh, says, uh, who is Jasmine uh, Newman? You, uh, you read I someone, you will see her. Um, but we have a, uh, we have more of a story to tell with I some three. Um, that will, uh, you know, it's the last bit of the arc. So we got a bunch of stuff, uh, that will be, uh, happening in it. And I can't wait to announce it. It's going to be good. Uh, all right, continue going, uh, real quick for everybody that's here. We're in the last few days of alpha core. Number one's campaign. We have the CGC's last chance. We put those live a couple of days ago. You have. Signed and graded, signed by well, Alpha Core signed and graded, signed by uh Chuck. I saw him too, signed by me. Some of the covers are sold out uh already. Yeah, so it's only A and B left for I saw him too. So you're gonna want to get in on that because yeah, it's um we're getting to that point. So it's gonna be a great few days. So appreciate you. And as CJ said in the chat, spoiler talk stuff will be happening very soon. Told my little brother Miles isn't Spider Man. He started crying. Said Hobie Brown. What? Of course. Oh. The truth hurts. He did. Uh, he did do. Uh, he, he's he is Miles Morales. That's he's at least got that going for him. Maybe yeah. that'll help him. Help ease the pain. Yeah. Uh, that that'll help that'll help ease the pain. 
just tell him he he's my he is somebody and it's and he's Miles Morales. Um, but yeah, what else you got working on? As you got streams, you doing any gaming? I know you've been playing um, fucking wild state Mark. of decay. Yeah, state of decay. You've been playing state of decay. Yeah. Uh, is that the plans? We keep it on with that with your gaming streams or? Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna do some Power World for Sunday Fun Day. So is that officially out? Out on Friday. Friday. Okay, I might have to get in on that, man. Uh, so that's gonna, gonna, be gonna yeah, I'm gonna check that out on Friday. See what it's like, and if if it's looking good, we're gonna do that for Sunday Fun Day next Wednesday for ripping the silver back. Uh, aren't we gonna do the discussion then? Yes. yes so yeah. We're gonna have uh, spoiler we're gonna, talk. Yeah, discussion. we're gonna rack some people in. We're gonna drag some people in. Yes. Yeah, spoiler talk Wednesday on as channel. Um, that'll be fun. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, right. Alpha, Alpha, that'll be good. That'll be good. We'll drag some, we'll drag some uh, peoples in to talk about what, you know? Oh yeah. Uh, be be uh, interesting. There's questions. Questions which Oh yeah. We can at least pose. Oh yeah, we can. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good one. So that's gonna be fun. Mm. Uh yeah. So other than that, I'm not doing shit other than work, nonstop work and Making sure we finish out this campaign in style. So, other than that, I'm good to go. I think I got all of just making sure real quick. I did get all of the super chats. So, thank you all so much. What I'm gonna do before we leave, um, I am going to make sure that I didn't get some high level Streamlabs donation that I missed. Ah, um, because I'm I'm notorious for doing that. Um, so let me do this right now. Let's see what we got. Again, I appreciate y'all hanging out with us. We love this. I know we sometimes wait two to two and a half hours uh, before we ever, ever read a fucking super chat. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's just a conversation. It's what we do. Okay. Uh, looking at these recent events and HTK. No, that was that was yesterday. So we're fine. And I read that. uh yeah, oh, so we're fine. No, we're good to go. We're good to go, guys. So I got everything there. Uh, okay. Well, I appreciate you all hanging out with us. We're going to wrap it up there. This has always been fun. Catch us next week on As the Channel Hill versus Babyface. We will again have a spoiler talk, chatting with you guys. That'll be a nice little fun, fun, fun hangout. This has been a this has been a blast. Um, I've been having a blast doing these. I know As has been as well, but. We got to get up out of here. Um, I don't know when the next time I'll be streaming. Um, I can't tell you. I'm probably just going to work, so we'll see. But we will Are see. Are you going to do a closeout stream? Yeah, Saturday. And uh, I am going to stream with Flash for a little bit as well because of the, co of the closeout. Um, so that'll happen. But, yeah, we will do a, do a stream on our channels uh, as well. So Saturday, that's a good – I'm glad you brought that up. Saturday, we will be doing a closeout stream. Um, and we're going to have a lot of fun. So, all right, guys, we will see you guys next time. And until next time, y'all be easy. Peace out.